I am sure sports. You know me there, yeah. I'm coach to coach representing. I mean, I said this is right to representing for all my life. You don't know, come get the sports over here from near and far. Oh, boy, boy, boy. Me say, I am sure sports, one thing me sure about. When me say sure, that me, me not doubt. Come get your sports, get it over here. Come subscribe, repost and share. I am sure sports, one thing me sure about. When me say sure, that me, me not doubt. Come get your sports, get it over here. Come subscribe, repost and share. Yeah, share. If me not sure, that me, me not say it. Know who score, that me, me not say it. Never know no game play, that me, me not say it. If me never seen a game, me not know who play. For your sports news, better come over your so. For your soccer news, then come over your so. If you don't love sports, still come over your for the day, don't you want to love over your son? So, so, when it comes on to behavior concerning football, Jamaica is, is decent. I am sure that if we can get all of these things done, set in place by the end of April, it gives us enough time before the World Cup campaign. Not afraid of no Brazil or no Argentina with these crap of players. We are good enough. Remember to like, subscribe, 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 share. Listen, comment, let me know what your thoughts are. Trick Nick Jerk Marinade gives your meats and vegetables authentic Jamaican jerk flavor. The spices are directly from Jamaica. Spices like jerk seasoning, allspice, scotch bonnet pepper, fresh scallions, thyme, ginger, and garlic. The key ingredients to a great jerk marinade. 0% sugar and low in sodium. You want to try it? Made up of 18 Jamaican herbs and spices. Add delicious, bold flavor to your next grilling experience. Flavoring sauce, a marinade, basting, condiment, or topping. Trick Nick Jerk Barbecue Sauce. Yes, good morning everyone. Uh, big up fresh guard. Uh, welcome to I'm sure sports. As everyone know, Manus Man is away in Australia with the Jamaican national team. I'm getting I'm getting ready for the Gold Cup. And um today I'm I'm gonna try to help him out with this program here and host this program along with my good old buddy, my bedroom, Mr. Katarak. Um, you can hear them. Um, let's. Uh, uh, we're gonna attempt to discuss today. Um, Katra, good morning. How are you doing? Blessed is he that walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor sitteth in the seat of sinners and the scornful. Only money will I just last year. My prayers have been answered. I, remember, I know. Remember, remember, good man. Member good, member good. Uh -huh. Careful what you ask for. <laughs> oh, that that should be my comments to you. <laughs> that should be my comments to you, <laughs> because we we're gonna we're gonna take a good look at that. That like that's breaking players, news. Yeah. That's 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 breaking news. At least I would expect that you would welcome us. Oh, oh. that should be that should be a first. <laughs> No, Andre, because the, the natural thing to say then would be to say, I'm welcoming you with open arms. Y yes, that's what you should do. Open arms, no. But but I understand, I understand that there'll be um maybe a little bit of uneasiness. Um a little bit of uneasiness um on your part. So you might um you might you might uh, on the show today display a certain type of confidence, but behind the scenes you might be a little bit uncomfortable. The, Andre, my good, my good friend, Andre, my nemesis. Okay, so so they, for who, been who, who, who may not be? Well, 
Go ahead, go ahead. Folk, they were <laughs> dancing in the streets of Jamaican <laughs> football when <laughs> I saw the news. I lost it. You lost I, it? I, I, I had to check. Reuters, yeah. <laughs> you know, the official um, <laughs> news stream to make sure that what I was seeing and hearing was correct. Well, well, it is correct. It is correct. And it, because it came from the general secretary of CONCACAF, okay, um, announcing that, you know, there's been an investigation for who don't know into Nicaragua, allegedly at the time, um, fielding a player in the tournament in Nations League that was ineligible to play for Nicaragua. And, um, and CONCACAF has now ruled that that was the case. So Nicaragua, Trinidad and Tobago has replaced Nicaragua in the Nation League A division and in, in the CONCACAF Gold Cup. Um, I don't know, I, I'm, I'm inclined to say fortunately, but Trinidad and Tobago is now in the group with, with Jamaica and the United States and Curacao, I think it is. Um, what, what is, let's start with you this. Are, you are assuming that it's going to be Curacao because there's still going to be a, the qualifying matches being played, which start towards the end of this week. Is that correct? Well, the, on the 16th, that, um, so Trinidad has taken over the spot from Nicaragua, and Antigua and Barbuda, I think, I believe, has taken over the spot, well, from, spot from Trinidad. Trinidad. And Tobago. Okay. So, so for now, what we show about is that Jamaica would be playing Trinidad and Tobago in the group stage of the Gold Cup. What better could we ask for? What better could we ask for? Let, but let's have a look at it. Let's have a look at it. So, so before we go to the look, <laughs> so I, I don't want to sound like Teddy Lee Gray, but this is how mad it is that I have to be quoting Teddy Lee Gray. People, people. Yeah. It's soccer versus dancehall. <laughs> it's Marshall Montana versus Vibes Cartel. <laughs> that is what's going to be happening in St. Louis. And you know, you know what's good about it? I've got a ticket. <laughs> and I will I join you. And I will join you. No, you, you would not be coming in the Jamaican section. I, Sit as far as you can from me in let the me stadium. Tell you this. I'm, I'm a Trinidadian and, and I'm proud of that, right? Yes, man. Um, but I tell you this. I believe that if I existed in the time... Um, a slavery when the ships were um, going through the region, I probably would have been dropped off in Jamaica. I, I probably would, would have been one of those um, that didn't want that they wanted to get off the ship really quick. I know you know your history, and, no, no, but, that, but that history is 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 that history correct? Because Jamaica was not the first port of call. The first port of call would be the Windward Islands. It, so I've never understood that thing about well. The most rebellious slaves. Well, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have first. gone that far then. Let's put it that way. <laughs> I wouldn't have gone so, that far. So as Jamaicans would have said, Andre's four parents, Niam Breadfoot, they were the coward <laughs> slaves that were on the ship. The well-behaving slaves were Andre's. Well, but right? I escaped though. I, I escaped. I escaped. I've, I've, I've come to understand it. So I like to think I've escaped. So let's let's look at it, Cataract. So that was good news. Look, um, Siobhan is saying here that... When he heard the news, when I heard the news, I immediately said Catra could be jumping up and down. And, and um and I think someone else said uh, more correctly, not only Catara, but the entire Jamaican footballing community. Uh -huh. The words lamb, slaughter uh -huh. come to mind. But it's just been a good two days for me. You know, the most high is so good. Uh, first, Mr. Speed stumbles to Mount Pleasant in the 89th minute. Like, yeah. I just yeah. thought my week couldn't get better. <laughs> and then this drops into my lap this morning. So it changed the whole discussion and discourse that we were going to have. Um, first of all, welcome to the mandem in the chat. The show is going to be a little bit different in, in, the, in the upcoming days to come um, as Pastor Six, a.k.a. Manning's man, officially known as Omar Stennett, 
with an apostrophe, um, is over there in Austria with the Jamaican national football team. And, and we send him our best wishes, our best regards, and, you know, um, prayers and big ups and those things that he, he does and executes a good job on behalf of the YouTubing community as he becomes, we don't know what the arrangement is, but it becomes a part of the GFS establishment for this period of time when we are faced with a number of competitions. So big ups and kudos goes out to man's man. When I had a problem with it, a little man in where I eat, you get where I look for, uh, you get cataract. You know, so I'm not a behavior. I'm not a past. I'm an ultra. And you have Andre. <laughs> hey, it doesn't get any better than this, right? It doesn't. It doesn't get any better than this. It, it, it is the Caribbean rivalry um, reignited, and I hope that this rivalry will take us all the way, both all the way to 2026, um, in the World Cup, where we can spank you again on a world stage for the world to see that, you know, is the steel pan really an instrument? I share, I share your sentiment up to um, us being on the world stage together in 2026. After that, I will not go down that road with you. <laughs> because no, you see, it, 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 see, it would be good. It really would be good. You must remember that recently you made some pre prediction that not yeah. only that, not only that, it that it didn't come come through it was grossly overstated you didn't score you didn't score seven goals in two games not just one game <laughs> right or or was and, it that I, I was just premature no, maybe no, no. maybe when i maybe when i looked in the crystal ball what i was really seeing was the gold cup game that's what should worry you well well, well you know you you your gold cup right right now you you're putting a lot of stock into um into the squad that you're capable of assembling right yes and, 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 and but but there's no history with that squad there's no history of that squad accomplishing anything um as yet for Jamaica so I don't know if it's if it's safe because in, in the in the 2017 Gold Cup, when you got to the finals against USA, and, and this is, you know, you, you had you were mainly made up of, of local players, right? Is that correct? Do you agree with that? Yes, it, it, it was a largely um, locally born Jamaicans in that squad. Right. A, a few of them were applying their trades in the United States, in the USL, in the MLS. Right. And you but lost we, to the USA in the finals? Yes, we did. All right. In 2019, you got to the semis. The semifinals. And I think of the squad that you that you have assembled, um, Leon Bailey was the only person playing in Europe in that squad. Yes. All right. In the semis. And in 2021. Right. So tell us, Lewis. If you don't realize. You you had you had you had Reed, you had Gray, you had Liam Moore, you had Dal Johnson, and you and you, you lost in the quarterfinals to the uh, USA. To the USA. So what I'm what I'm pointing out here is that recently you have had a lot of the players that you some of the players from the spaces that you're putting a lot of stock in right now, and in the last three outings. The year that you had the most players from those spaces, you came, you lost in the quarterfinal. And and every loss in the Gold Cup, the final game, whether it's the quarterfinal, the semi, and the, or the finals, this was against the USA. And you are now in a group with the USA. Yes. So but so could this be a group? Could this be a group? Are we just looking at history? Yeah, man, this is this is a historical perspective. I'm allowing yeah, you. Right, I'm right. allowing you latitude. <laughs> um, so 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 historically, um, I mean, the last time, not the last time. Well, in a competitive match, the last time Trinidad played, you were seeing a competitive match. Trinidad won. Is that correct? You remember that? I'm, I'm allowing you. What, 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 I'm, allowing you I'm allowing you your latitude, so, so, sir. No, I'm, I'm just sharing with you. So, so when I ask you the question, you go, can go answer. Ahead, go ahead and share. 
this is I, not a, this is not a police Q and A. This is <laughs> so is there a chance? Speaking, this is allowing you the latitude because when I get started, <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> is there a chance that that the USA and Trinidad come out of this group? Absolutely, no in, in your mind, absolutely no chance whatsoever. No chance whatsoever. Okay. So what, as you so eloquently put, because you know. Um, history is really his story mm. so now it's my story okay 2017 final 2019 semi-final mm. 2021 quarterfinal mm -hmm. do you get the alliteration the recurring yeah. word i get it i get it final jamaica's always in the final stage right. Quarterfinal, right. semifinals, mm -hmm. finals. And where has Trinidad been in these years? With Trinidad, Trinidad did what? Sometime, you know, did it? Yeah. Other times. 2017, we won there. 2019? I didn't get out the group stage. 21 didn't get out no, the group you, stage. You mean, you mean you fell at the first hurdle? Yeah, okay, that's fine if you want. If you're, you're, want putting it, you're putting it nicely and, um, and you, you know, you're putting it gravely and buttery. You fell at yeah. the first hurdle. Mm -hmm. So I don't know how that fills you with confidence. Secondly, you pointed out to what is the most recent vintage, and I, I think mm -hmm. you, you are um, making a mistake. The squad that will roll out for the Gold Cup will be largely uh -huh. the squad that played against Mexico in Mexico City uh -huh. in the Nations League uh -huh. in a 2 2 draw. Right. With some additions. So, my bravado. Uh -huh. Braggadocious, mm -hmm. bossy, man of bossy, all, all of the man of ass humble, <laughs> man of bossy, is based on the performance against Mexico, the kingpins of Concacaf, in their home stadium at altitude, which Jamaican fans would agree would have been a display that filled us with pride and given us some degree of hope, reignited hope. And this is really where we saw Coach Harmer Halgimson in a competitive um, fixture. Previously, it had been a number of friendly matches and he delivered mostly on the goods. Um, we, we, we fell at the last hurdle in that we needed to win the game but we we got a draw, which okay, is still hold the on hold on, hold on, hold on a minute. You know, I'm fond of Jamaica, and I want Jamaica to be successful, just like I want Trinidad to be successful. Right? Let's get it on. But you said Jamaicans were pr were proud at a two two tie with with Mexico. Yeah, and and that's fine. That's I have absolutely no see that. Do you know? And, no, do you not know? just say, no, 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 no. Please, sir. Put some respect on our name. That's something that you have not been able to do. Go to Mexico uh -huh. and get any sort of positive result in Mexico City. I don't study your history, but if you can pull up anything from the 1920s, which is what you seem to do um, about your sojourns in Mexico City, we led Mexico twice. Mexico had to come from behind and scrap like a... Uh, uh, a pit bull in an illegal dog fight uh, to get the result that they needed to move forward to the semifinals of the of the, of the nation league. So it was not simply that. Is, that, is that the best result against Mexico? Of course Never? not. We've beaten Mexico before. Okay, and we have beaten Mexico too. But but listen to me. Hear, hear what you hear what you are doing. That I think might um might might uh, might be an error. Might be an error. You've had this squad or just the, co the core of the squad. 
the core the, of the squad. Of the squad. So you tie with Mexico. Um, we admire that. I admire that. And I don't mean to speak on behalf of the fan for Trinidad and Tobago, but I know there's there's been a lot of people that probably have been proud that the, uh, when Trinidad tied with Mexico um, in the last Gold Cup after not having any football with a squad of guys that haven't been playing football. So that that could suggest that now that football is being played, that Trinidad could be in a better place. I don't know. Um, that's something that um, that we need to have a look at. Now, you, I, you, you have a new coach. You have a lot of things that is in your favor. Um, but so far, you've tied with Cameroon. Was it Cameroon when you went to Africa? Yes, we went to Africa with a, with a, with a largely... Well, with, well no, with a Jamaican national team, with a reggae boys yes, team. Yes, yes, oh, it's the reggae boys. Yes, it's the reggae boys. It's the reggae boys that went to Cameroon. Right, it's the reggae boys. So, so, so let's not try to explain anything. The reggae boys tied in Cameroon. What? Did we lose? So, so no, what, what, what do I have to explain? And I'm, I am giving you the context, sir. And yeah, I'm I giving you context. right that it was a overwhelmingly, I think about 80% of the squad, 90% of the squad were domestic-based semi-professional players uh -huh. who ply their trade locally because that game was outside of, of a FIFA window and uh -huh. they, our professional players were not... Well, I don't even think we attempted to seek a release from their clubs, right? So that's the context of the draw against Cameroon, who went on to um, give a good account of themselves in the World Cup. So we also have to put a lot of respect on the names of our Jamaica Premier League players who stepped up and didn't, um, I wouldn't want to say didn't miss a beat, but they mm -hmm. certainly gave a good account of themselves in the mm -hmm. black, green, and gold. <clears throat> in, some people were predicting a shellacking, mm -hmm. um, you know, 3 nil, 6 nil, uh, but they, 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 they went ahead and gave a good... You don't account. have a problem with that, do you? No, I don't. Oh, okay, okay. I, I, you don't have a problem with people predicting? No, I don't have a problem with people predicting. <laughs> I myself dabble in the prediction <laughs> business. I'm just checking. But let me, let, let, so, okay, so that's context. Give me context for Argentina. The world champions, Argentina. That's Coach before Harrison. they were world champions. You played them before they were world champions. The coach has just, but just got. It's just, the squad that went on to win the world championships, sir. Right. Okay. And and yeah, that it, was. Right. And what, what it, was Coach Hal, it, it was Coach Hal Grimson's first game uh -huh. um, in charge of the Reggae Boys. Mm hmm sitting on the bench, um, a short, very truncated um, preparation period uh -huh. as he assembled his, well, our best squad from various ports in uh -huh. the world. And we gave a pretty good account of ourselves up until uh, Liam Messi, who um, is the, 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 the best player in the world, and, and some argue... Um, as to whether he's the GOAT, some argue as to whether he surpassed Maradona, he came on and, and showed us what, what, a, what a god of football is. And, and mm -hmm. um, no shame. <clears throat> we, we two, two goals from Messi and the game ended in, in a 3 nil. So, but again, we saw the early signs of Coach Hargrimson, his philosophy, and um, one would not say he was outcoached, but we, we, we felt comfortable that we had a Jamaican coach who was not outcoached, probably outgunned, outmanned, um, in terms of the quality of talent. Um, Lissandro Martinez um, recently um, was in the Champions League final uh, for Inter and, and, and other, um, other, one would say, elite um, players in, in 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 world football in the top five leagues, so it we saw the germination of 
the tree. And I think the Gold Cup now is, is really the first time that we're going to see the fruit of um, since September, I think, September, um, coming in November. We, we're going to see now this fruit. What's the first taste of the fruit in a cup? In a, in a second taste of the fruit in a competitive environment. The first taste of the fruit was against um, Mexico, and so our, our confidence is not misplaced. Um, well, let's 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 have a look at that. Um, but let me remind people in the comments section to hit the like button or subscribe if you're new to the show. Um, it will be appreciated. Um, so let's look at that. So how many games has the new manager? And I'm, I am I am confident that you have a good manager in place. But how many games has the, the manager been at the helm? At the helm? Yeah. yeah. Sitting, so, so what has happened is, the, is, is it's been a, a choppy start because he was, at the, he was on the bench against Argentina. He was on the bench against against Mexico, but mm -hmm. he was not um, on the bench for the games, the game against um, Cameroon. It was Coach Marion Gordon, his assistant. Okay, All right. So, he, so, so really, we, for us you, see, see, you see what I'm trying to figure out is what no, no. what what has given you so much confidence that you can get out of the group in a group with Trinidad and Tobago and the United States was both teams have, have um, gotten results against you recently and in the past. So what, what are you hanging? Where's the confidence coming from? Okay. I'll, <laughs> I've I'll, never seen you like this. this I'll speak <laughs> and slowly, I'm trying to read some of the comments and wondering if people know who they see. So this is I Am Sure Sports. That's Andre Trinidad. My good Trinidad ultra friend. He's ultra Trinidad, everything Soka Warriors, everything black, red, and white. And this is Cataract, the top boy in the Jamaican ultras. So this is not your regular show that you're coming in. So you're going to have to take an appetite. This is some doubles, um, okay. uh, shark and bake, right? Mixed in with a little, you know what I mean? Stew peas. So sit back and enjoy the ride. We're doing it our way, um, but we will get to there. This is, you would appreciate a last minute um, occurrence with, with the news breaking within the last 24 hours of Nicaragua being um, evicted, kicked out, booted from the Gold Cup. And I think there's some other um, repercussions. They've been relegated from the, the Nations League. From the Nations League, A for division to the B. B, for fielding an ineligible player. Um, in a number of games. And at, at some point, we have to talk about that, Andre. Um, how did this happen? Who is the player? I don't have the details. I, I, I'm, I'm hoping that you would have some of those details. And, and just how did this happen? How did this escape uh, Konkakov and, the, ref and the, the, the match commissioners? And um, Because some of these the, the games in which um, they have been found guilty, those were nation league matches, competitive games. So we, we do have to ask some questions about um, the administrative side of, of things as to how we, the, the, this would slip through the crack. Even though we we have from time to time, um, even the World Cup, I think in 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 Comi ball, there there were calls for Ecuador to be booted for fielding an alleged. And yes, eligible player. Yes. So, we, at at some point in, in in our in our reasoning and rivalry, we do have to talk about um, what is becoming, or it has popped its reared its ugly head a couple of times now in recent memory, and and I would have thought um, that the 
well, we would have thought that we were told that before you play for a game, you have to present your passport. And so I would hope that um, our good administrator, our good friend, uh, Manning, who might have some more information, can aid us up on the, on the, the Samsung, come on my phone, um, and let us know some details about just what took place that uh, precipitated into the exclusion of Nicaragua from Group A of the, the Gold Cup. And Trinidad and Tobago replacing them automatically um, in the group stage and not having to go through the qualifying um, rounds. And Antigua and Barbuda being not reinstated, but elevated to the to the qualifying rounds in place of Trinidad. That has been the domino effect. And which is um it's it's always it's I mean football has rules and it's it's um you know Nicaragua would, would probably feel I don't know how they feel about it, but at the end of the day there are rules and if the rules were violated um then it must be addressed and Concacaf addressed it. Um, I wish it was addressed before now because Trinidad national team is already assembled in Florida and, and you know, from a financial perspective, there's going to have a, there's going to have an effect because Trinidad now has to figure out what they're going to do between now and then, um, which is but, but, but costly. So, no, because of Trinidad, um, it will be costly. Does, does, doesn't 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 cover cover those um generally the hotel and um accommodations are are, are covered by by Concacaf I, 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 I think Concacaf for all those major tournaments I think the 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 course is covered from a particular date so right now the for the the tournament is what probably twelve days away or or however long it is. And that's almost two weeks. So um, any team, just like Jamaica being in Austria, that that's at the cost of somebody other than CONCACAF, you know? But, well, that's an interesting thing. That's interesting, Andre. I, 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 my assumption was that the hotel them done book and they're not staying at the hotel because you would have been there for the qualifying rounds. Um, I guess... As of, would... as of yesterday, I think it was. Right. As So now... It, it, I think really it's where you train um, because you would have to secure a, a, a training location um, to keep your squad um, fit over the next 10 days so that, you know, there's no excuse in St. Louis. But that's, well, that's something that they have to, to work out at the moment. Yes, um, yes. And, um, you know, I'm sure it's not going to be ideal, but they're going to have to come to a solution. So the player that we're talking about is listed as Richard Rodriguez Alves, and they're saying that he was born in Uruguay. Um, Richard Rodriguez Alves. Yes. And they were say, they are saying that he was born in Uruguay in um, Toledo, and according to Concacaf protocols, he was not authorized to represent Nicaragua. And he played in eight games, eight international matches as an ineligible player. So, so I want to ask, and, 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 and the comment section, let me, I'm, I'm just getting my hand back on this, you know, last year, this time I was dealing with Reggae Boys commentary. I'm not used to being the host. Um, I just love my ultra self, but um, Sharman Scott, big up yourself. But eight games ineligible that's yeah. a lot of games yeah so and, someone was asleep at the wheel well I, and i think I, I read something when it when i first saw that the, the match was being contested and i think this was brought to light in the mexican media if i'm not mistaken um that's how it first that's how based on what I read, how Trinidad learned about it. So um, it's quite interesting, but it happens from time to time in football. Not sure why, 
Um, but it happens. As you mentioned earlier, it happened with Ecuador. But, well, it, no, no, no. It was alleged with Ecuador. It was but, alleged with Ecuador. Yeah, but the, the player was Colombian. Was, yeah. So, but at the end of the day, um, I think most Trinidad, um, most Trinidadians, most people, most football fans from Trinidad and Tobago would be happy that Trinidad is now in the Gold Cup. I think most fans, I, and I talk about football from a football um, person perspective and not necessarily as a fan, but uh, most fans would be happy with the fact that we're in a group with, with Jamaica and the United States and whoever else is going to join the group. But I, I don't want you to step away from the fan because I always speak from the fan's perspective. Mm. And what I want to ask is for the two Trinidad fans who would have booked <laughs> tickets for because you know they have such a large fan base. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Andre and the fellas, them Andre and the fellas, <laughs> um, family and friends, right? Would have made um, airline ticket purchases, presuming that you were going to qualify in another group in a different city from um missouri and I, i'm not sure where the first game is because that's that's the second game um so who reimburses those fans who would have made um travel and hotel arrangements some of them that might not have been insured etc but who reimburses the fans well, what I could, what I would say to you is that if you could find one person <laughs> in that predicament, then maybe I'll attempt to answer. I, I mean, I was going to go to the game, and and I don't have a ticket as yet, so I'm not so sure that. It, I mean, if you understand um, the Caribbean culture, um, doing things a little bit later or closer to the time is supposed to happen would be would be the expectation. So I don't think most I don't think there would be a lot of people that would have been put out by this change of circumstance. Okay. And look, um, and look, wouldn't they so, not wouldn't they not be so, would they not be happy that the game is now on the 25th um in the actual Gold Cup? Being in the preliminary round, to be honest with you, is not an is not a nice thing. It still gives you a chance, but you would rather be in the Gold Cup, right? So, are you suggesting that the Soka Warriors fans were just liming? Well, well, I mean, <laughs> enjoying some Angus tour and, and what? What rum do you if, have? If, if you ask somebody, what, else, what, what second grade rum do you have down there? Yeah, VAT, nine, you, VAT nineteen. They were having you, some VAT nineteen and Angus tour. Well, if you um, if you ask somebody else, they may suggest that you know. The trade might have bought, might have buy the ticket on Wednesday or Thursday, um, you know, because from a resources perspective, it may not they may not be affected by it. I don't know. Okay, I don't um, know. Did, did you have a need to no Trinidad will not be playing in Fort Lauderdale. No, they are they are currently in Fort Lauderdale, uh, anticipating when, when was just for the fans when when was your first game going to be? And remember to hit the like button, please. It, it's two ultras going at it, and I'm sure this will not be the first or the last show before uh, next week, Wednesday, when we see each other, Andre and I, in the in the um, Missouri Stadium, City Park. Um, so, so hit the like button. Um, remember to subscribe if you're new to the channel and um, share this stream. It's, it's, it's historic. Cataract good, good behavior. So it's going to happen. And remember that um, America is a country of laws, cataract. Um, and they do enforce them laws, their laws, as you're going to see. Um, as you see every, every day of the week, um, today and others. Um, so let, let's talk about the, the, it's going to happen. It's in place. It's going to happen. You're going to get your wishes. Trinidad is going to line up against Jamaica. Um, and we'll see what happens in the end. Fair enough? 
Oh, you, oh, you, you can't just bottle that up at 40 minutes. Um, man, then stop ramping the light thing, man. Hit the light button, just thump down the light button. Like, you know, you came home and saw the light button in your yard. Just deal with it, rash. Hit that light button. Who Who's on your squad? I haven't seen your squad. Who's absolutely. Your squad? So, so let, let's jump there. The yeah. squad currently um, mm -hmm. has been assembled in Austria for a friendly match that should take place on the, the 15th. Thursday. The 15th. Against right. Qatar. You play Qatar. Against on the Qatar. We, are, we understand that it's going to be a behind closed doors game, which means we'll only get the result because both teams are playing it. Well, I don't really understand why it's a closed door game, to be honest. But they seem to want to play it close to their chest because they are taking part in the World Cup. And what I can tell the fans is the, the players who are currently um, in Austria, and, and I'll let Trinidad know, you know, call it a gift from CARICOM um, so you can start prepping. So here's the squad that you'll be meeting. And the, I think it's 30 players that are going to um, Austria. And then from that, it will be paired down to the 23-man squad. And I think you might probably have one or two um, alternates that will travel with the team to the United States in case of injuries just before the, the, the Gold Cup. You're still allowed um, to, to make a change before the first game. And the players that we have there are number one. Kanaya Boyce Clark, the second string goalkeeper for the first team of Reading hmm. FC. So all the man them and the irresponsible man them who've been doing streams talking about the youths not committed and a lot of Ray Ray and you know what I mean. Kanaya Boyce Clark is in Austria um, and fully committed to the Jamaica program. He is a Jamaican and I would wish that some of us are more responsible in our in our journalism as, as social media um, practitioners that we seek to get the facts rather than create hysteria. So welcome Kanaya Boys Clark. Big up yourself. Uh, Jamali Waite from Pittsburgh River Hounds. Uh, he was the man between the sticks against Mexico which is why I'm saying to you that this is not a newly assembled squad. And what happened in the Gold Cup 2021 is that we learned that if you pull players together, a large number of players without a core, um, and attempt to go into a tournament, you are going to have teething pains. So we are hoping at this time that we have gone through those teething pains uh, by having a sort of mostly consistent squad. Andre Blake... Um, from the Philadelphia Union, and he has broken a couple of records for appearances. Why are you running, Andre? Are you scared no, already? I'm only at the goalkeepers, and, and <laughs> my man's there running, bro. No, I'm not going anywhere. I'm right here. <laughs> I'm right. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. He's right here. He's not running. Okay, he went for a pen. Adrian Mariapa, the veteran. Um, Maps affectionately known as, and he's at Salford City FC in a League Two. Uh, they went to the playoffs, uh, the League Two playoffs, but they um, fell at the semi-final stage. Joel Latibadere of Swansea City, center back, come right back. And he was, those of us who have been following world football, he was the under-17, the captain of the England under-17 team that lifted the under-17 World Cup. Um, the team that included the, the likes of Phil Foden, I, I, I certainly recall that. Um, but a team that was full with a lot of promise, and he has switched his allegiance to Jamaica. Dishon Bernard, another new kid on the block. And I have some questions about that because I don't understand why his process is taking so long. His father is Jamaican, his grandparents are Jamaican, they live on the island. 
um, they are alive. And the, we, we saw an interview um, sent out by the press officer, Simon uh, Preston, conducted by Simon Preston, the, the, the new press officer. Uh, if that's a, a, apologies if that's not the correct title. Um, and he shared, you know, his view of coming in. Manchester United, um, contracted to Manchester United, uh, was injured at the start of uh, the last season and then secured a loan move to Portsmouth, um, where he joined another Jamaican eligible player in Dane Scarlett, who um, turned out for the England on the 20s in the recent World Cup. So he's there. Um, Dexter Lembekisi, uh, our right back from Wolverhampton Wanderers, and he plays both right and left back. Last year, he joined up with the under-20 squad, and um, he was not even included in the last in the final squad, um, allegedly due to injury. Um, but he was uh, scouted as a left back, and he's now um, showing his versatility as a right back. And he had a an outstanding game against Mexico, uh, coming on for Javain Brown. And um, he really put in a performance that had a lot of tongues wagging about the young man. And we look forward to see if he's going to... There's also talk about him going on loan um, to play some big man football. I know that Port Vale um, have made an approach to, to, to Wolverhampton to take him on a season-long loan. So let's see how that um, goes out. Jonathan Delano Splat central midfielder from Fulham. They're part of their developmental squad, even though he's quite a youngster, um, one of the younger the younger players. And he he also joined up with Jamaica, but didn't make the final squad um, for the under-20 World Cup qualifier, a decision which I think um, came back to haunt us. Jonathan Russell of Barnsley, CDM, who came on in the last fifty, uh, last twenty minutes of the game against Mexico, and 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 had a, a commendable um, cameo appearance for the reggae boys, and in that difficult CDM position that we have been trying to um, fill the defensive midfield position that we've been trying to fill um, since the, the the JFF seems to have moved on from Anthony Grant of. of let me let me let me interrupt uh -huh. for a minute if I if I have but John Russell is 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 a product of of, of Chelsea. Um, right, right, but let me ask you a question. Go ahead. There's um on on this channel and um over the a period of time, you've I've heard the conversation about Jamaica needing a CDM as you as you call it. Um, what is what is Jamaica looking for? What what is the qualities Jamaica, Jamaica looking for in a CDM that is making it so difficult to find one? It seems uh, that's a question that I would want to ask. Um, Harry, Harry we we have not had a defensive a, a linchpin, someone who has been grown up in the art or the discipline to sit in front of the back four and protect the back four. We've tried players. A lot of them have been slow. That's been the, the main com complaint, and some of them not omnipresent as a as a CDM. But normally. when you say slow, what do you mean? So uh, the likes of molasses. Slow. Just think about molasses. Okay, okay. Right? physically slow, not physically slow. Yeah. So 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 they and a, a number of them are young. I mean, hmm. you you can make up for your. Physical lack of pace. Anthony Grant is not the most pacey player full of pace as when he was younger. But using football intelligence and, and being able to anticipate and, and, and read the game, you're able to put yourself in the correct position to make the interceptions rather than having to run and chase the ball around. Um, but I don't... Previously, it's really not a position that really... It's not a sexy position. So most Jamaicans don't aspire to being a CDM. You know, we want to be the attacking midfielder. We want to be the striker. 
Claude, Claude uh, Makalele certainly was, was credited for making it a sexy position. And, and since then, we've had the likes, you know, we've had Claude Makalele, Patrick Vieira, uh, Busquets. We've had guys in those positions that has been quality. So, but but could you could you name three or four um, Trinidadian CDMs? I mean, our CDMs have been um, Hacker, John Watson, who who played in the M in the MLS, so he played at a, a fairly high level. Okay. Um, Rudolf Austin was, was probably almost no second most decorated um, CDM mm -hmm. in terms of he he played for Leeds United in the in the in League One, he played for Leeds United in the Championship, um, and, and had a fairly he had a success, fairly successful career at at, at Leeds United. <clears throat> um, does have a cult following there among the Leeds fans, and mm, let me think. Patrick Graham, uh, Ninja from Reno, he, he played a couple of games there. We had young Jashan Anglin. We had I had a lot of of, of, of high hopes for Jashan Anglin. I, 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 I had commented that I would have loved to see the Jashan and how Jashan could have learned to develop his game from an Anthony Grant and learning from somebody who it's interesting that you mentioned Claude Makaleli because he was uh, the mentor, the big big brother program that they have at Chelsea to Anthony Grant, and he would tell you that much of his play in CDM he learned from Claude Makaleli and um, Florian Maluda, uh, two different kinds of, of CDMs, but you, you don't really find them um, in, 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 in our 98 squad for World Cup qualification. We had to go back to take Peter Cargill, Jair, Peter Cargill, out of retirement. Um, and he was playing Israel at the time, which is why I said it's not, it's, it, it, it's not, he's, um, I did say Rudolf Austin is not the most decorated. Peter Cargill would be the CDM that has played at the highest level, along with Anthony Grant, because Anthony Grant won one game in, in the Premier League at Chelsea. Um, but Peter Cargill, Rene Samoa has had to, draw for, as we do, you have to draw, go in the pack and, and, and call him out of retirement to mm -hmm. come and, and, and take up that, that role. After Peter Cargill, I think Darrell Powell, I remember Darrell Powell, um, he was from Derby County, so yes, he would he'd be another decorated because Derby County was in the but Premier League at the time. Win, win, but we're win. not talking about players that, that that come to mind. We're not talking the Walter Boys, the Anandi Lowe's, the, the Pepe Goodisons. It, it is really a, a it, it, it's the most unsexy position to play on the field because you're doing the dirty work and you're actually trying to make other players look good and able to express themselves. A management conducted an inter interview with Anthony Grant recently. He said what that role is, is that you allow the creative players the, the freedom and the comfort to be able to express themselves going forward, knowing that someone is is behind there to take care of things in the well, playground. That, but go wouldn't ahead. That, wouldn't that depend on on um on game model? Because for a lot of um, I've observed from a lot of teams that play and like um handling the ball and, and having a lot of possession of the ball, the CDM is is very important in that. They, they, you know, just like Rodri, like Bus Busquets at Barcelona, you know, at that level, they, these, these positions are very, very important position. Look, we have Wayne here saying the coach want a ball playing CDM like Conte. He don't want you to sit back and park the bus. I don't know if this is um, his opinion or if this is an informed opinion. Uh, maybe the coach might have said that somewhere but in most teams that want to handle the ball that's a very important position and that player is normally a quality individual um from a game inside position um perspective the ability to read the game and technical ability and would spend a lot of time handling the ball spend less time defending actually in terms of what you're describing so how what is jamaica are you aware what how is jamaica going to play what is Jamaica's style of play are you trying to scout for Trinidad? Yeah, he was going to say Are that. you mad? Are you mad? Are you mad? Do I'm, you think I, I'm asking you, that on, be, on behalf of the head coach. Do you think that 
not good to be giving you our secrets. But look here, you, you raise an interesting topic, right? And I've, I've, I've been, everyone knows I'm an admirer of Anthony Grant, right? But I've always paid attention to that position um, because, you know, I like, like Gennaro Gattuso, <clears throat> the more Gennaro Gattuso, the more combative CD, right. the enforcers, yeah. the, the Roy Keys of the world. Mm -hmm. What we saw with with uh, Man City in their recent game, I watched the, mm. the, the, the Eurofinals, is that John Stones has been taken out of defence, mm -hmm. um, having been a ball-playing centre-back and brought into the midfield. Now, that's not often been a successful transition of moving CDMs, middle center backs to CDMs. What has worked, like Fernandinho, for example, you you you've moved CDMs to sometimes fill a gap at um at, at center back, back, right? But it's it's not a position that it, it's a it, it's a premium position. Arsenal are, are talking about paying one hundred million dollars for Declan Rice, uh, I, I'm, and that's that's another conversation. I I you know I would say. I, I'm not so sure I agree with that, but to the point of CDMs and center back, in a lot of environments, um, the center backs are developed in the CDM position is almost the same. They're interchangeable. So John Stones as a center back um, to go into the midfield, um, you know, I can see that. Or even... As a, a CDM going into the center back position, I can see that it, it's it's almost you can you can transfer them. That that that's easy. But I I don't know what I've tried to grasp. What it is, Jamaica? What what do you guys see as a as a proper CDM? Uh, give me a minute. I'm just is, is Rabel Morrison a CDM for you guys? No, Rabel is what I call a box to box midfielder. Um, so we, eight. They've tried to convert him into. There's a, someone who we don't speak about when we talk about CDMs. Pirlo, Andrea Pirlo, right? Uh, yeah. Italian. Yeah. Who created the position of the um, deep lying playmaker in the CDM role? Is it? Well, we can. You can say him. You can say Cesc Fabregas under Arsene Wenger as well. He. he yeah, did but that Cesc, Cesc came. Cesc came after. Yeah, Pilo. Yeah. Pilo, was the, Pilo is the person who, who, who created that, 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 that position yeah. rather than just being your Vinnie Jones from Wimbledon days, you know, just clap down a man um, and, and generally be the, the enforcer for the team. Uh, Paul mm -hmm. Ince, got the, they call him the governor, Paul Ince. Right. Um, but he really used the position to spray passes, you know, right. Um, very accurate passing, and he revolutionized. But there are not that many deep lying playmakers who can combine being the defensive qualities of of blocking. How is Jamaica going to play? What type of CDM is Jamaica? Look, is Jamaica going to be reactive? Are they going to be proactive? They're going to give the ball up against America and try to play on counter attack. Is Jamaica? Um, is Trinidad going to be allowed to dominate the possession against Jamaica? What is Jamaica? preference, right, which I think would, would, would help. Is Daniel Johnson I think, is Daniel Johnson in the squad? As uh, you, you, had, you had interrupted me as going through the squad, but I, yeah, I, but we, we're going to get back we're, to We're going to get back to the rest of the persons who are there. Okay. Right, but what, what I'm saying to you is that, look, what you need to be worried about is how many times your goalkeeper is going to be taking the ball <laughs> out of the back of the net. I don't think you need to be worrying about the CDM in the middle of the party. I think you need to be worrying about how many times Mikel Antonio is going to slap you. That's what you need to be really, really focused about. Because make, we're going no, to make, no, no, make no mistake. Uh -huh. Mikel Antonio is no Travante Stewart. Is no Colin Anderson. Is no Dujan Whisper. You will be facing for all intents and purposes, the most fearsome striker that, that's around the region. 
And, and he has proven it time and time again for West Ham. He has proven it when he has come to CONCACAF. He's one of those who has delivered on the goods. He, he has shown us against um, in, in the World Cup qualifiers that he, he can take just a moment of brilliance and either run down on, on, on your defense, run at your defense and, and, and tear them to bits with, with, with searing pace or um, his quality finishing on, on, on shooting from outside the box. So I really think that's what Trinidad should be concerned about because Mikel Antone is a beast unlike any other that you would have faced. Um, <clears throat> in, in, recent, in recent memory, he, 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 he's a, a European Cup winner, the Conference League. We, we have not had that quality. It, is he a striker? Is he a striker? Yes, he is a number nine. He okay, plays, so, so he on, plays as a lone on. striker. I'm just trying to help you here. I'm just trying work. to help you here. Allow okay, me to ahead. help. Allow oh, me to ahead. help. Go ahead with the help. You, 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 I consider you my friend, so I need to help you. You, you, are, you I understand that the way you feel about Mikel Antonia. I've watched several documentaries of, about him, and I like him as well. You know, um, growing up in London. There's some really nice information out there. But you've got to understand that Mikel Antonio scored a goal every six and a half games in the Premier League. So I'm not so sure that what you're okay. saying, I don't see how... I I'm not so sure lost. How we seem to have lost, Andre. No, I'm here. Can you hear me? I think you're frozen, Katara. Are you back? I think I'm having some issues with my Wi-Fi. Allow me to change it. So, to, to have, have, a, have a couple of minutes to... I, to, I, to I, can, I can hear you now. Yeah, have a couple of minutes to rant. Um, no, and give, <laughs> you, were, you were telling us about Mikel Antonio. Yeah, yeah and, I mean, he, and, he's... And called... buttering him up. And don't, just let me say to you, it doesn't matter all the niceties you say, he's going to terrorize you. So go ahead and give us your assessment of our No, I, I'm, I'm just pointing out Starboard. that he scored, he scored a goal every six and a half games this season. The, 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 um, the group stage have how many games? Three. Right. The group stage have three games. He scored one every six games. And I, you know, and, but, but, and if you're specifically speaking I, 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 about, if you're specifically speaking about Trinidad and Tobago, right? I, I sir, you, you yeah, remember at the start of the season. And, huh? At the start of the season, yes, they have brought in Samaka, and for the first part of the season, he was coming off of the bench until um, David Moyes um, stopped the the Samaka experiment. So he wasn't a starter for the beginning of the season. So those their stats and their stats and then their damn lies. So. I wouldn't put oh, five goals in 33 games is a lot. <laughs> That's a no, but he was not. He was not a starter for the, the majority of the first half of the season. Why, why don't you read the stats from the Conference League then? From the Conference League, you read those. Tell me, he scores a goal every six against the European opposition. Let's chat about that. The, 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 I, I want you to finish the roster. Um, we could talk about that. No, I, I, take, take a minute. No, but take a minute. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a phone call. And I'm not calling Mikhail Antonio to tell him to <laughs> march up for the job. The, the, the stats that you're talking about, I don't know. Um, conference League. How many goals did he score in the Conference League? He's played seven times for Jamaica and scored three goals. Um, impressive. Not bad. Not bad at all. You you haven't trouble with your Wi-Fi, Katrak. It seems as though you're frozen now. Look, we have um uh, Chelsea Blues asking here if you remember Levi Garcia, if you remember the name Levi Garcia. Do you know that name? Oh, Katrak is on the phone. 
I would I would really like for him to finish the roster, but um, I always find the discussion about CDMs in Jamaica to be um, to be an interesting one. Um, Dwight Spence is asking here, um, how good is this player Aubrey? Um, I don't I don't know much about Aubrey. I've seen him a couple of times for Trinidad and Tobago. Um, I don't know much about him or how his history, where he plays, um, and how he does in that space. So, um, if you know, I don't think he's in the MLS next pro at, at the moment. I don't think he's. I think he's still searching for a club at the moment. But I can't comment on how good he is as a player. I don't think there's enough. There's enough reference points out there um, to judge him, um, but he certainly has shown that he he has some quality. He has some quality. I know he was born in France. He was he was in the system there. He came here. He was in the system here a little bit. I think he got a call up. Can't hear you, cataract. Got 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 a call up to the um to the U.S. national team. Got a call up to the US on the 15, I think it was. Um, played for St. Martin some and then made the change um, to Trinidad. And, and he's not ineligible because St. Martin is not a not a FIFA, is not a FIFA member. So as far as how good he is, me personally, I haven't I haven't seen enough to to determine that. But he's he's in the he has represented Trinidad and Tobago and is in the team. So one must assume that he's good enough to be there um, per the coach observation. Um, let's see what's in the comment section here. Um, just want to Remind everyone, it's uh, we'd appreciate the to hit the like button and subscribe, um, share the content so that other people could um, could enjoy it as well. I think we have Cataract back. Yes, sorry. Uh, you want to continue with the roster? Yes, let me continue with the roster and. Um... I'm going to give you a, a, about five minutes to talk about Trinidad fans after I do the roster. Um, well, the Trinidad roster is not out as yet, so it has not been put you're, out you're, formally. You're, so. you're in Fort Lauderdale, scheduled to play, were scheduled to play in two or so days' time, and you right. said you don't have a roster. So it, it might, have, it might, it, it probably was scheduled to go out today, but in light of yesterday news. Um, they they probably focus on other things, but the official roster has not gone up. Okay, so um, I saw some man. I saw Pilgr I saw Pilgrim making a comment that I was talking up the British-born players. I'm telling you the players as I saw them on the field um, who are in Austria. We will get to the Jamaican players. They're all Jamaican players, by the way. So I don't know. What's this thing about English bar and Travis Basile? Yeah, that's really? that's that's a conversation that I personally don't appreciate. I think it just should be Jamaican. Jamaica. Because if there are any English players in the squad, let us know because we'll be kicked out of the Gold Cup like yeah. Nicaragua. Yeah, there are a lot of English players in the squad though, but but they're, the Jamaican. Rules, they're eligible. They're eligible. They're Jamaican now. Yeah, they're Jamaicans now. Man's got their citizenship. Man's got yeah. their passport. <laughs> in it. Right. So, um, I was at Jonathan Russell um, when he paused, but I just run through the names again. Uh, Kanaya Boyce Clark, Jamali Way to Pittsburgh River Hounds, Andre Blake, who I said broke um, appearance records uh, for a goalkeeper um, at Philadelphia mm -hmm. Union. So mm -hmm. I don't know how much more you want me to talk him up. You know what I mean? Adrian Mariapa, a senior citizen and veteran, um, and and really an ambassador. In, in the squad and we, we look forward to see when he transitioned into the, the, the coaching setup as well. Uh, Joey Latibadir, one of the new faces that you will see 
former uh, captain of the England on the 17 uh, squad that lifted the World Cup. Travis, you want to pretend that that didn't happen. Uh, Swansea City, and he's he's converted from a centre back now into a right back, uh, mm -hmm. which was a, a, a bugbear position for Jamaica along with CDM. The right back position was our Achilles heel. Mm -hmm. Deshaun Bernard, Manchester United, uh, who had an injury at the start of the season, but uh, went to Portsmouth on loan and um, uh, represented himself fairly well in terms of getting back to, to his best self. Mm -hmm. uh, Dexter Lambekisi, Wolverhampton Wanderers, and we, we pointed out that he had an a excellent game coming on for Javon Brown. Javain Brown uh, against Mexico when we, Javain Brown was struggling down that um, on, on the on the right hand flank, um, and he, he came and gave a, a good account of himself, and 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 pushed himself into conversation of being the starting right back for Jamaica, um, a teenager, <clears throat> after Wanderers, and and recently in this press they've been. Uh, uh, interest from from League One and Championship squads um, looking to bring him on loan um, so he gets to play some big man football. I, I know Port Vale have made an official approach to Wolverhampton. Uh, Jonathan Russell, the, the Chelsea Academy uh, graduate who is at mm -hmm. Barnsley and um, most recently the, the Barnsley were in the, the League One playoffs. Um, Corey Burke of Philadelphia. Is Corey, is Corey still at Philadelphia? Somebody help me. I, I, I'm not an MLS aficionado, but Corey Burke, um, who he has been a, a mainstay in the strike force. You, let, me, let me suggest something. But the, let, the, MLS, let me... the MLS is one of, is considered um, one of the top 10 leagues in the world. No, top 20. It's well, there's different ranking from financial perspective and that, all that kind of stuff, right? No, man, quality ranking. It's in the top 20. It's not right. the top 10. So, but you can't, it can't be on your doorstep and you ignore it as though it doesn't exist. I don't watch it. Well, well this, is what I'm, this is what I'm trying to say to you. You, you can't ignore it. You have, you have Jamaican internationals that play in the MLS. Go ahead and watch the MLS. <laughs> so, Lickly, this is a sore topic. So for now, so I support Leeds United, which means I'm now going to have to watch a 44-game season of championship football. Are you serious? You're a Leeds fan? I am a Leeds United fan. Wow. And then I'm going to have to keep an eye out in the Premiership for the large number of Premier League players that are of Jamaican heritage. Oh. I only have one TV and two eyes. So I don't know the man that are watching all these leagues all about the place. And pretending that they watch the games, it's not it's not physically possible. I play a sound system at night. I I do my politics and them things. So I do my time that's dedicated to football, Leeds United, and um, the Premier League. Oops. I will I will track sometimes. You know, keep an eye out and here and I, I look for player man like Dre Anyweather. Um, my good friend of mine who New York Red Bulls, thank you. He moved from Philadelphia. Thank you, brother. Um, but he was he was a scary proposition, even in the finals of the MLS last year. You know what I mean? Um, yes, Christmas came early, Nati Congo. Christmas yeah. came early. Selassie, I job bless me. And I warned man, you know, I warned man, I told you. <laughs> but you know what I mean? I, I, not, we, not, have, not, we have enough no. false prophets on, on, on YouTube, but I did say to you, <laughs> my one wish is to buck you in the Gold Cup. <laughs> I did. Uh, so the next part of my wish is going to come that we deal with Trinidad savagely, a, a, a beating from which you never recover. That's what that's what I'm going to be talking to my team about. That's what I'm going to be be telling the man that. You know what I mean? Let, let, let me say to you, I, I, can't, want, I, want... I can't imagine, I can't imagine what condition mentally and physically you can find yourself in if Jamaica lose the Trinidad and Tobago. I, I just, 
I I'm almost afraid. I'm, I'm frightened for you. Truly, I, I I am concerned. I am concerned <laughs> because you went missing for a while. No, I did not. I, 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 no, 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 God not sleep. All along, God was just saying, man, plan and God wipe out. So I could have taken the beating in a friendly match, but now I'm going to get it back. <laughs> oh, God. Well, we'll wait and see. I, I, have, we'll a plane, and see. I have a plane ride to Tr San Diego after the game. Trinidad, you know Trinidadians are very resilient. That's what I would say to you. People from Trinidad and Tobago are very resilient. That's all I would say to you. Okay. All right. We're not gonna discuss. Let, let's let's I want you to finish let, your let me finish my squad. Right. Um, and these are the players who are there. Kahim Paris. He plays in Europe. Uh, I think Ukraine, if I'm correct. If I'm correct, um, Dujon Richards, aka Whisper, Whisper Church, Major Whisper is there currently, and um, he's moving between Phoenix Academy and Chelsea's Academy. What, what do you mean he's moving between the two academies? I thought he signed with Chelsea recently. No, it, it can only come into effect when he's 18 years old. Oh, okay, 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 which is which is I think in September or October, Sep okay. All right, that's so it's, it's a, it's a pre-contract agreement. Right, okay. Right. Dynamo Kiev, Ukraine. Thank you, uh, Rob Smith. I, I find myself having to say thank you, Rob Smith. Uh, Kevin Williams, hit us out of the goal. Uh, is this? Look here, let me tell you something. I'm going to play a song. So let me just give it a little bit. Bushman, fire upon a weak heart. Fire burn a weak heart. Any man in there, some of them are weak at all about Trinidad of a draw and Trinidad of a beat Jamaica. A weak, a weak heart, brother. And you have too much breadfruit and a coward. Warm to Man, forward dog of St. Louis. It's going to be back and all. <laughs> I'm going to save this stream. I'm going to save this stream. <laughs> it's going to be back and all. Right. Well, Tennessee. You talk football. So, so is, football. I didn't. I didn't know we were talking volleyball or golf. So, so let me ask you this: Is so, so there? Let, is let there? Just, let me, I have three. I have three players left. Um, okay. Sorry, four. Richard King, who mm -hmm. is who is recently transferred to uh, Iceland. He's playing in the Icelandic league, and the Icelandic league is happening now. So he should be fully match fit. He went over there with uh, Dwayne Busy Atkinson um, from Cavaliers Football Club. Mm -hmm. And you know, Iceland is the home of our head coach, Harmir Hagerson. Uh, Kevin Lambert plays in the USL. Jovain Brown plays in the MLS over there in Canada. Um, our, our official starting right back. But um, as we said, based on the Mexico game, we're going to be looking to see whether um, Dexter Limbikisi holds the starting berth um, or whether the, the more experienced uh, Joel Latibadir um, is there. Javin Brown... Um, Toronto FC and Shamar Nicholson over there in Russia. Our man in Russia is rounds out the 14 players that are currently in Austria with more players slated to join. So if you have any questions about that, um there. Well, I'm telling you that Javain Brown um is not 
I don't have fantasies about man, Tennessee Lewis. So I don't know what you're talking about. I have dreams of whipping Trinidad and Tobago. So let me ask you, that squad that you just put out, is there anybody that is currently, because I, I didn't get all the clubs, that's currently playing in the JPL? Or is everybody playing no, outside of Jamaica? Every, everyone is playing outside of Jamaica. Everybody's playing. Everybody's playing. A f everybody's a full professional. Right. Um, the, the, the JPL finals were, were on Sunday, so it would have yeah. been a bit difficult for any of the players. Um, those in contention would, would, would have been on show at the finals on Sunday. So it would have been difficult for them to be in, to have reached Austria um, in time. For? No, for this this training the training session that we saw. So they, they would have had to uh, play Sunday night and then leave um, Monday. Mm -hmm. And I, I think it's a connecting flight that they have to take. They they would not have they they would just really have been arriving if they are would have been arriving today in in Austria. Right. But there are more players to join. There are fourteen players there, and and, right. and the squad is being built up. Right. So that's. That's probably not the reason why they didn't include JPL players. Yes. You agree? I'm not agreeing with you. <laughs> on this point, only on this point. For, for somebody to clip. No, and, and I don't think that many, maybe one, mm -hmm. um, we have a domestic based player in, 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 in Dujon Richards, but he might have been in, in the UK at the time. I don't, I don't know. Um, so yes, there is one domestic based player because he's still a, a, a Phoenix Academy player there. But um, I don't see more than one, maximum two, but more than one semi-professional player making a Jamaican national team. And the difficulty is that the position, which is the ones that people want to see, which is Trevante Stewart, um, he didn't score in the final, so it's not like, and he he gone a couple of games without scoring. Um, but then when you look at the front line, who do you who do you bench? Um, Colin Allison, um, the, the Golden Boot uh, winner, mm -hmm. he didn't exactly set Trinidad alight. When, when he got his opportunities and he didn't he wasn't selected for the mexico squad so I, I, it's difficult to see him being selected now for the gold cup when the coach based on his performances against trinidad didn't select him for the nation the upcoming nation league game at that time so so he he, so, he scored 20 goals this season yeah 20 goals this season. I, I think the, the last time um i might have seen somebody the last time somebody scored that much goals in the gpl yeah, might have been five years ago I don't know. It, it doesn't happen. I think Ray Nelson or Craig Foster. It doesn't happen cool. very often. It doesn't yeah. happen very often. Um, the, the JPL aficionados, um, tell us about who they are. They're two players who have scored 20 goals in, in this sort of format of season. Um, yeah, right. I, I think one was about four years ago. I can't remember his name. I, I, I saw it. I read it somewhere, but 20 goals seem to be a big. Well, in any in any league, yeah, uh, twenty goals is a is a benchmark, and and respect to Colin Anderson because you have to put the ball in the back of the net, and he he also did give Mister Speed that glimmer of hope. <laughs> Gosh, <laughs> thank you, Colin. We're gonna, we're gonna get to the GPS. Yes, now you're gonna have your say about that. Look, the Jamaican squad is an impressive squad. Um, so this. it's it's strictly professional players. There's yeah. one. Um, Amateur player in, in Dujon Richards, um, an academy player, but all other players are, are professional players and on, on professional contracts. So, what might your what might your context be? Let's just hypothetically think about whether if you don't get out the group, you don't get the results that you're looking for. What would the context be in this case? You have a fully professional team. You have a coach who's qualified a team to the World Cup before. You have management and staff to make sure that everything goes right. Um, what what might what might um, what might the context be if it goes in the favor of 
that you that Trinidad has a good OBI man. <laughs> that you stopped in Haiti. I, in, I'm giving you a Peru. chance. I don't want you to be surprised when, when it happened. I, Craig, to... Craig Foster, Balatelli, I, I, I knew the name, Craig Foster. And, and Craig, the people who love to keep it very good. Craig is Reno. Reno man. Craig Foster, 20, so it's, it's, it's the same as 15 years ago since mm -hmm. 20 goals have been scored. But it, that would be some strong goals. 15 years ago? Yeah, man. I it, it, five years ago. 20 goals okay. a season is a benchmark for a what you would call an elite striker mm -hmm. in any in any league. It, it 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 really means you're scoring a goal every other game. You're at that clip. Or more or more, yeah. A little more than every other game. Because most seasons are 38 games. So, so the top striker, the top striker in the JPL couldn't get a look in on the national team. That's interesting. He'd have to be getting a look in, in the Premier League. He is what? He would have to be getting a look in, in the Premier League. Well, he, he certainly said in, a, in, in his um no because his interview look, that look, he look, where, look where our strikers are. Well, then trans transition to a top tier league as a full professional. Shamar Nicholson is in Russia, which is a top twenty league. Um. Mikel Antonio is in the Premier League, which is the top league in the world. Um, Corey Burke is in the MLS. You need to start to some of these statements, in my opinion. Um, the English the, Premier the, League the, is the top the, league in the world. The, the, what are you arguing about, Dan? I'm, it's, I'm, it's not like arguing, I'm just saying that some people, some people... Consider which league? Consider maybe La Liga. La Liga? I don't know. Some people La Liga who who never have no team in other it, it, perspective. It, it, That's all I'm saying. Oh, come on, bro. La Liga is not the top league in the world. It is not. The, the, top, the top five leagues are recognized by various places. And I'm gonna to have to take a, about a, 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 a 10 minute break. I'm gonna allow you to speak about Trinidad and then I come back. Um it's England, France, Italy, Germany. Spain and then Portugal here, and then you have the leagues. It, you have the Argentine and the, the the Argentine and the Brazilian league, and you have MLS. The, those are what people have the highly regarded leagues. So I'm saying to you that the, the three number nines in contention play in top twenty leagues in the world. So you are not going to come and push out a man with a performance in a semi-pro league. And bubbling under that, you have Jamal Lowe who plays in the championship, but he belongs to a Premier League club. That's it. It's just a bad get, position. It's just a, it's just a position that has a lot of depth for Jamaica. You have Andre Gray, who scored six goals in five Conference League games playing professionally in, um, in Cyprus, who can't even make the 50 man roster so it, there are some difficulties it's it's i i, I can see that i can see that um this is, this sometimes, is not... you, sometimes you include people in squads um for different reasons um i mean and football, I think... related, football related reasons but you know exposure um but he's what how old is he he's 24 years old 23 yeah, but but I, I already think that the coach has seen who he wants to expose in Dujan Richards. So he has taken to the spot for yeah. your, the exposure right. has right. has been taken up by a player who the coach has seen, brought him into training camps, the same training camps that Colin Anderson was in, the same training camps that Trevante Stewart were in, because he had striker camps. And he's seen him play two international uh, friendlies, and he sees something. Fitzpatrick Edwards, English Premier League is based on the, num the number of times and the number of teams from England that win in Europe. They are omnipresent in the <coughs> European finals. Manchester City is the is 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 is, is the is, is uh, are, are the Champions League champions and West Ham 
are the conference final um, champions, conference league champions. So two out of the three European leagues are, were won by English clubs. That's why England is the top league in the world. Not popularity, brother. By quality, by, by financial muscle, by quality of squads, by competitiveness of the league. Um, and probably only Germany um, was more competitive this year. What, what, do you think, minutes. what do you think about Andrew Moore's statement here? EPL is the best funded and most competitive league, but Spain had better quality for the past couple of years. Spanish teams have been winning the European competition for a couple of years now. Sevilla has been winning. The Yellow Submarine, Sevilla has been winning. Is he making a, is he making a credible argument? No, he's not. Because you, then, you would then have to look at the number of clubs. It, 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 there's not just one club winning. Look at the semifinals. Who are the semifinalists in, in the various in the various um, leagues? Look at the representation. It, it's not even up for debate or discussion. It's, it's not even cataract's viewpoint. It's, it's, it's accepted by those who. Um, study deeply the football so <clears> you <throat> would have to tell me um you know what i mean and again for for, for, for um don't forget barcelona is it, it, having a difficulty with its finances right um real madrid yeah even with the galacticos it, 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 it's, it's there it, I, I can't i can't say it it, it's um it's 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 an argument um what do you mean syria ah what are you talking about blood syria ah is the number one league in the world are you nuts come on bro come on come on when 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 last i mean juventus pop up with a with, with a win when last is a, 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 Serie A is not the top two leagues. It, the, the top two leagues you're going for is between Spain and England. Serie A would be number three. Um, the French, the German league, Bundesliga would be, and the French league are four and five. Um, I think there's a. But I, 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 I'm, I'm giving you a perspective. I'm giving you a Trinidad moment. I have an important thing to do for about five minutes. It'll take me about five minutes, and then I'll be right back. Just don't start playing the steel pan, please. Be 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 careful and and <laughs> hurry back, okay? Um, look, I I think there's a um there's a, a argument for. other leagues in terms of quality of football, I, I think, um, you know, but people have, sometimes leagues are judged by different handles, leagues are promoted in a certain way, and leagues are watched by by people around the world. Um, so I'm not sure if there's any, any answer that could stand from season to season. Um, the English league does have its, its um, It's excitement, um, but there are leagues, you know, you watch Spanish football and the quality, the quality is very, very good. Um, the, 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 the Trinidad and Tobago team, uh, the roster has not gone out as yet. Um, the roster has not gone out as yet, uh, but they, they did play a, a game against um, Guatemala recently and took a squad that was made up of a lot of guys that that play in the TTPFL. Um, won the game against Guatemala 1-0. This was this past Sunday. And what has been reported in the in the press, and I, uh, for a number of reasons, I, I'm choosing to, to say what's reported in the press. What's reported in the press they had a twenty man, a twenty two man squad, in um, for the game in Guatemala, for the game against Guatemala in Philadelphia, and the coaches um, 
kept some of the players, just eight of them, that supposedly is going to be in the squad. Uh, the goalkeeper, Marvin Phillips, who's a, a senior player, has been around the national team for a long time. Um, and Denzel Smith. Sheldon Bateau, who played, who plays um, overseas in Europe, in Belgium, I think it is. But um, of course, was off. The season is over. I understand from the reports in, in the Trinidad Press that he's been kept in the squad, as well as Albin Jones, um, as a couple of defenders in the midfield, Daniel Phillips, Kyle Aubrey, that some of you guys were asking about just now, has been retained. Um, Kadim Corbin and Real Gill they're still with the team currently in camp so they probably according to the reports here might still be um, might be part of the roster might be part of the roster um, in the final roster in the end the players that will return to Trinidad is um is let me invite um Michael Brown, Shane Brown. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, Shane. Um, one of my close Jamaican friends here in the States. My yeah. brethren, my brethren, <laughs> as they say in Jamaica. <laughs> I have somebody for you to interview, man. Uh, um <laughs> We, we, we'll get to that in a bit. We'll get to that in a bit. Um, Katrak has been on. He, I think he went to, to take care of some stuff. He should be back in about five minutes. But he was just, we were just um, talking about the, the Trinidad roster is not official. So we, we can't um, say with certainty what the final roster would be. I was just discussing some of the guys that the press has been reporting that has been retained after the game Sunday. And, and I'm sure the press would know that information from, from various sources. But um, the Jamaican roster is out. What are your thoughts about the Jamaican roster? And Jamaica, of course, we discussed earlier, is in the same group with Trinidad now because of the the recent ruling by CONCACAF. What are your thoughts? <laughs> um, so, so the sequence been finals, semifinals, quarterfinals. Right. So the very least this time is finals again. Now, how does how does that work? How does that work? It, what what we saw is a decline. It hasn't been it's ascending, it has been descending. Yeah, it's been, it's been a decline. Right, right. But, so how we get back what is what's your rationale for for getting back to So if if you look at the last three gold cups, uh, uh -huh. The core of the players, you know, was was um Jamaican players that 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 so got so called from Jamaica. Uh -huh. and, um, I think right now with the quality that they had and they added, I think I think that should take us back to there. So we, we, what we already have with you know the quality what they added, the form that some of those guys in. I think I think this year is the year, man. <laughs> this well, year is the year. This year is the year. You've been in all three of those um, standings that you just pointed out: um, the, the the finals, the semifinals, and the quarterfinals. Every time you lost to the same team, the United States. Um, the United States football is continuing to grow. The teams are getting better. They're getting stronger. I think the, the performance in the World Cup was credible. Um, was a credible performance in terms of the quality of the football. Um, do you think Jamaica is in a place to compete? I think I think he's having some trouble with his internet connection here. All right, let's see. Let's see um, if he'll return sometime soon. So um, I'll jump back to, to what I was discussing um, previously to my coming on, which is the of the 22 players, eight was retained according to the press. Um, 
and some was um, some of them were returned home. Nathaniel James, Josiah Trimingham, um, Dwayne Market, Michael Poon, Angoran, Shea Benny, and Jermaine Neptune. Um, Shea Benny is one of those is a favorite of the fan base. I'm trying to be a fan base. Um, a lot of people have been petitioning for him to be in the national team. Um, so this was his first opportunity to be in the national team. I understand um, I was coaching myself. I didn't see the game, but I understand he played for about 15 or 20 minutes. Um, well, obviously, that's not a lot of time to make a case on that stage. So um, Mike is back. You Are you in the U.S. or in Jamaica? <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm a kitchen. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but you're, in. you're right. America trajectory is uh, is just going up and up with not just the team but the league, the leagues. Yeah. Um, the type of player they're attracting. But again, um, I think we're in a good position just based off if you look at I'm 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 banking on the, the new the new coach, um, I think this, this is the first time in a long time. Um, those guys got to show some accountability, you know, and I think that they realize that the public is demanding a lot from them, not just the players, but the whole coaching staff, the administration. So I think with, with that in mind, I think, you know, that could raise the level, you know, somewhat. So, and... Yeah, so hopefully, hopefully we'll get Trinidad three. <laughs> <laughs> no, three one. Hopefully, ho hopefully, hopefully, J score one. Three one. <laughs> uh, uh, three, three one. <laughs> three one. So look, Jay get that J get that ten out of ten performance, <laughs> but you still get zero points. But I still get zero points. Um, yeah. Look, <laughs> I I agree that anybody associated with Jamaica, anybody that's paying attention to what's going on in the region would should be a beat about Jamaica's situation should be a beat but um um i must say I, i'm not gonna concede um <laughs> any negative results <laughs> versus versus jamaica or anyone in the group to be honest with you because at the end of the day football is played inside of the white lines um on the day and um trade has pulled off some performances um under dire conditions that um Hey, hey, you know, you know this game still have some rivalry, right? USA Trinidad, right? Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be it's gonna be a good group. It's gonna be gonna, gonna be a good group. Um and we have um we, we have skin in the game. Hopefully, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hopefully it plays out it plays out that way, you know. Um it plays out in, in, in the way that we'd like it to and, and we get the performance. You said four one, and 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 Jay scoring. I say one zero and Jay scoring. I don't know, uh, <laughs> but I'm not I'm not in control of that. Uh, but we gotta we gotta hope that um, he's in the roster. As a matter of fact, I hope they would bring Drain to the roster since yeah. he's LT again. Uh, Did you just call out the roster? No, they haven't. They haven't seen the roster yet, as far as I've seen. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, um, it probably was due today. Um, Jason Gunes asking if I'm ready for the war. I'm, I'm always ready, um, Jason. Um, I have a, I have a idea, a philosophy that if you get if you get caught getting ready, then you're too late. So I try to always be ready. And and Mike could tell you I'm a warrior. I have that spirit in me. So um, I certainly am ready. And and I have skin in the game. Because don't, let me go, don't let me go off script now. <laughs> <laughs> don't let me go off script. I, I, I was getting the game, so um, I have to be ready for the war, so that others can be ready for the war too. Um, did you? Did you? Um, were you able to see the the, J, the JPL final on on Sunday? No, I just I just saw the highlights. I, I yeah. couldn't find a link. I couldn't find a link to it, but the, the, I, I watched I watched the highlights, and the atmosphere was just brilliant, man. If, if they could get if they could get each game. To be like that, they they, they could sell it. They could sell a JPL. 
I, I think, um, and, and that's true, if, I mean, it, it's football is entertainment, um, it's an industry. I think um, the, the real story is Mount Pleasant, right? Yeah. And what Mr. Goal has been able to come in and do with Mount Pleasant and, um, and to finally win a trophy, as I understand it, for a part of the country that, that has never had that type of result before. Um, but when you compare it to, let's say, look, this is this is the Man City and the PSG of Germany, right? Mm -hmm. um, the it's Newcastle um, of, of European football. These, this is the team in Jamaica that potentially has the most resources. So they finally won the league. Um, what are the three? top trophies in Jamaica, the two most valuable trophies in Jamaica. Um, JP, the JPL, man. <laughs> the JPL and, and what is, I know there are several the, trophies they play the, for during the season. The, 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 link, the link Cup now is on the scene. So I think that's the FA Cup style, but bigger than, not so bigger than the JPL. Mount Pleasant now have to go prove in the now that they could play outside of Jamaica because now they qualify for international tournament, right? Right. Yeah. Right. So you know they have they have big ambitions now, you know. So, yeah, I think um playing into that tournament um would be good. But I think um what what should um what should we expect? What should Jamaicans expect from among um, pleasant in that tournament, they have an experienced coach, right? They have they have a tre tremendous amount of resources um, that would make the team that could make the team competitive. Um, what should Jamaicans expect going forward from Mount Pleasant? Is Mount Pleasant going to go ahead um, and dominate the Jamaican football for a period of time? Are they going to? What are they going to do in, at the CONCACAF level? Um, Fresh guy is saying here there's only two major trophies at stake. Um, so Mount Pleasant got one this year. Um, are they expected to win? To win everything? I mean... Yeah. Well, remember, for, for where Mount Pleasant at now, you know, it, it took a lot of work. Um, it took a lot of Big decisions too, with the turnover of coaches, players, you know. So I think that you know they're serious about you know what they want, and they seem like they have a structure in place, and they're not, they're not afraid <laughs> to to make a move if you know somebody's not fitting in that structure. So. It will be a good experience for all those guys on the team, not just the players, but the coaches, you know, just to go out there and play. Because this is the equivalent of Champions League, you know what I'm saying? So it will be good for those guys, you know, to, to showcase, you know, what they have on a, on a, on a bigger stage. The big, the bigger clubs, you, you already experienced that. The, you know what I'm saying? The, the Port Moors, the Arbor Views. Our net gardens, you know. So this is this is new for Mount Pleasant. Well, well, it's it's um, it's. I think I think in the end it would be a good story to have somebody come in and create an environment such as such as that in Jamaica to 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 develop young players in Jamaica. I think that's a good thing. And now to be able to take a team that based on, on what I know. Uh, all Jamaicans to go into to that level of football is really good. There was a there was a um, was it a controversy? I don't know how much before the finals there was a discussion about um, apparently in a game the Cavalier players had their electronic stuff stolen from the dressing room, and then there was a press conference that um, that the Cavaliers team um, staff didn't attend. And you know, I heard the the CEO of the league was having a discussion about it. That there probably was a he was convinced, but through the interview, 
there was some discussion about whether or not Cavaliers would have showed up at the final, whether the final would have been played. There was some doubt, um, at least at least in the media, there was some doubt. Maybe there was never any doubt in Cavaliers' mind. Do you feel that that affected them? Where where was the equipment stolen from? From the dressing room, I understand. Which which dressing room? During the course of a game, from Cavaliers' dressing room. That's what I understand. I wish Tatar could return. What? Earlier I, in the season? No, I think it was recent. Um, maybe maybe Fresh Guard or somebody could shed some more light on that. I, I just don't want to go all yeah, in yeah, on yeah. something happening in Jamaica. That but but that I'm but not... that happened against another team or against Mount Pleasant? Where where? No no you? no. It happened in 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 prior to the Mount Pleasant game playing okay, against okay. another team. And um, that's, what's, that's what I understand was being re reported. And I think it was a considerable amount of his iPhones and iPads. And um, I know the, what they're saying it was 20 million. Um, 20 million, I think it was worth of, worth of stuff. And, and the, the suggestion, what, what was taking place in the media as far as, and, and, and again, the best person to probably speak to this is is um, probably Mr. Speed or somebody. But what what I was hearing was that um, the stuff was stolen, and uh, supposedly Cavaliers didn't feel um, it's close to three million. Um, somebody is saying um, it, it happened in the Link Cup final versus Portmore, and okay, okay. right, and it was. Um, um, close to $3 million, Jamaican dollars and stuff. Um, it, it, when you hear it, when you hear it, you know, when you do, when you do coaching courses today, they talk about the information is not one size fits all. You have to tailor the information to suit your environment. Mm -hmm. So the, the, the question, you know, how could that happen, right? In, in in the professional spaces, in other ways, the, the dressing rooms are protected. It's locked, and that kind of stuff. How what what would be your thoughts on that? Well, it, it's funny you say that. I'm laughing because I remember that's been an issue since youth days. Mm -hmm. I remember playing under twelve in high school, and. Whole, whole, by the time it change, put your mm -hmm. clothes on the sideline, you're done, your whole uniform gone, everything is gone. So at, in 2023, I, I think, you know, the very least, if a team come into your home ground, they should be safe. They should be able to get in there safe and get out of there safe. And that that's not just physical well-being, but, you know, just all, everything you come there with. So I, I, I think, you know, those things shouldn't happen. So they should have somebody who's making sure that, you know, your dressing room is is not, don't have access to nobody else, but, you know, people from the team and the staff and all that. So, I mean, I don't see any other way they could fix that besides, you know, keep in mind that, you know, someone is coming to your house, you know, and you got to go back to their house. So, again, the very least, they should be able to go into these communities, wherever it is, <clears throat> Safe and sound, and don't have to worry about that kind of stuff. You know, the players, the players shouldn't have to worry about on the field and worrying about this stuff being missing. You know what I mean? So, so first, you got to say that the dressing room was protected with security, but they didn't lock the back exit. They said it was an oversight. Okay. Um, and 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 these are things that you you wish didn't happen and wouldn't happen, and hopefully won't won't, won't happen again. Um. But look, it, it seemed as though um, it was an exciting end to the season in Jamaica. Um, at one point in time, I followed the league. I followed the leagues in the, in the region um, to see the quality of the football. Sometimes, you know, you want to see something a little bit different to the stuff that's, that's packaged in a certain way. And um, it looked like Cavaliers would have run away with the league. Um, but, but that didn't happen. They came up short in the end. Um, they have a very young team, a very young team. I think it's probably the youngest team that you could find anywhere playing um, professional football. Um, some people refer to it different, but um, what do you think? You think they can get to this level again? 
next season? Well, as as you know, like you said, they have a lot of young players, um, you know, and that's that's been their that's been their um, thing for the longest, you know, giving young players a chance. So, I think they're gonna always be there, especially, you know, they consistently have the same um, coaching staff and management. They consist that those those things don't change much. So. I think I think they're gonna always be there. Yeah, they have a, they have a very young team. Um, I remember the first time I heard Mr. Speed say that, and I went and looked it up, and they have a they have a very young team. Average age is 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 twenty point five. Yeah, but, but also the management team is consistent. You know, they're not. You know, seem you know, Mr. Speed is always there. <laughs> yeah, and it's right. it. it you know, from a distance, it appears as though he's doing a good job. He's he just had a player went to Iceland, I believe, from his club. Two, two players went to Iceland from his club. Um, so I think, um, I think it's a club that you know um, is going to continue to be in the top two or three or four. I don't know of, of football in Jamaica. I don't know. I know you have. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're, you're chipping away at the butt. I, I, I was hoping that um, that Katara could be would be back soon. And you know the national team is in Australia. They play on the fifteenth um, against Qatar. Qatar being the host of the last World Cup. Qatar being um, the first team to be eliminated from the last World Cup. And I think of all the host countries. Um, they're probably at the at the bottom of the table in terms of um, performances and points accrued and whatever the case may be, and you're gonna be playing playing them in, in in the next few days. Today's the 13th in a couple of days. Um, I learned this morning that the game is being played behind closed doors. But what's the expectation? What's my expectation? <laughs> yeah, your expectation. What's the, the you know from the people that you. The Jamaicans that you deal with, um, what is my, my expectation is, you know, hopefully, you know, again, the whole organization take this serious and you know, as a preparation to to go to the Gold Cup and have a, a good performance. So, I mean, we can't we can't say Qatar, you know, based on the stats you just provided, you know, Qatar was around the bottom of performance as for a host nation. But, you know, as you know, the Qatar League has a lot of good players. They have a lot of experienced coaches that going through there over the years. So um, I think they're going to give us a good test, you know. So I, th I think this is, a, this is a very good friendly as far as, you know, the caliber of the team. Yeah, I think they, they were supposed to play, play Trinidad. Um, oh, the cataract is back. Let me add cataract back to this. And, to and the weather, the weather going to be a good, a good preparation too for the Gold Cup here because it's going to be hot. Um, this is King Cataract. King Cataract. This is your Jamaican brethren, um, who reside overseas. I don't think he's um he's a member yeah. of the ultras as yet so no 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 never you might want to send him the application <laughs> never never <laughs> uh, uh, ultras require heart <laughs> <laughs> no man hey. I, I can talk hey. to this brethren hey, they have two they have two they have two heart cataract typical typical of the trinidadians you know you, you leave them for five minutes and then they invite the fellas <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> It's a back and all. I just yeah. one, brother. When we tell them, say, your name, Katara, we tell them, say, don't mess with you. Because hey. there's a reason why they give you that name there. We, we, Body in, like Katara. In, in, <laughs> in, in, in Trinidad, we don't practice talking to yourself. If if they catch you talking to yourself, they send you to a place in St. Anne's. So it's really uncomfortable to sit and talk to yourself. Well, in Jamaica, we wait until you answer yourself. Uh, 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 you can talk to yourself <laughs> as long as you don't answer. Well, we don't yeah. want to go that far because it does man and man be well, we need to watch man and man closely because he, he talks to himself a lot. <laughs> <laughs> well, we see him, we see him. Kendra, you, know you know this guy? Andre? Yeah. 
Yeah, man. What do you know about Andre? <laughs> I know that I have a beating for him. That's what I know. <laughs> that, yeah. Long, well, it's not short incoming, you know. <clears throat> um, so, Cataract, you in Jamaica? Yeah, man. You love then football? Me can't, me, me can't be the whole chan and, 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 and not the. Not the you, you, love foot, you, you love football? If I love football. Yeah. You see this here? You see that there? <laughs> yeah, that yeah, says yeah. reggae boys, right? Okay. That's my life. My nigga, I'm sure so, hey, that, that's, 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 that's you for you. Life that 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 can't change. You want to win? On the back of Ronaldo. Leeds United, <laughs> always leads, always will. You want you want to win? Want to win? Yeah. What what am I gonna win? The goal cup. You you the you teams. Start from the U teams. We, we, we don't have nothing. We have, we have a coach. We have a coach for you. That match I tell you. You have a coach for it. I have a recommendation. I don't know if the ultras have any pull. No, we don't have a pull. We just fling white room and stay there and go on back. <laughs> <Have a, laughs> hey. Serious argument, you know, you know, cataract. <clears throat> look, look up to your left. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, to your right, to your right. <laughs> Next one. Yeah, <laughs> I, I thought you were happy where you are, bro. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> all right. So, so you're you in Jamaica. I look by the kitchen cabinet and I can't say you're in Jamaica. Yeah, bro. I want to Jamaica, them little mahogany. <laughs> yeah, but me there, 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 me Okay, okay. Man Deville. Where the woman Deville? Galdeville. 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 Of the class, <laughs> of the bus, no subject. Trader will be back. Trust me. No, listen, I think I, I, I can't honestly think I don't. You might see it as a gift horse, but I think that it might be a Trojan horse. I mm. think you might have been better served with the preparatory matches, um, because you would have expected to play some in 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 the qualifying round, so you wouldn't have put together friendlies so when you come when you come to face to face with jamaica you might have a bit of ring rust match rust because you you wouldn't have played a competitive game so um, we, we played on sunday and and with who like uh, on this is what is um a lot of, of the players that's probably going to end up in that roster is playing somewhere The league is back playing in Trinidad. And you played with whom? You said the team played on Sunday. Against whom? Against Guatemala. And what was the result? We won 1 0. You love the one love, the Bob Marley scoreline. Yeah, it hurts. It hurts the opponent. <laughs> it hurts the opponent. That that has to be your, 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 your fear. We, we're gonna we're gonna um we're gonna make it we're gonna make it exciting, Cataract. Um for sure. Do you have any information at all about what's going on in Austria out, outside of the 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 date and the date of the game and the fact that it's a closed door game? The players are arriving. Um, Fourteen are in were in camp um, mm -hmm. this morning um, mm -hmm. with players scheduled to arrive. The 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 the, the, the Jamaican fan that's in our mouth because the, the player that is on everybody's lips. And then who we're anticipating is mm -hmm. Everton uh, winger stroke forward, Damari Gray. Mm -hmm. And my understanding is that he will join for the second game against Jordan. He wouldn't be there for the first game. Um, mm -hmm. We might be a bit queasy because we don't see Mikel Antonio there, but I think Mikel Antonio has had a long season. So I might, I might, I wouldn't be surprised if Mikel Antonio's. Sitting out the first would sit out the first game and um 
participate in that second game. Nothing to prove. Champion boy. That's what that he's, he's got this is a new coach now. He's got to earn his. He's he's got to he's got to keep the coach. And that was yeah. And that was before Christ. <laughs> so so um, how long did the team arrive when on yesterday? Yes, the team would have arrived yesterday. They would have, they would have traveled. Members of the team would have traveled on Sunday. They would have arrived yesterday, and they would have had their first training session um, in the morning, which which would have been night time, Jamaica time, because they were right. about eight or eight hours ahead or seven hours ahead. Well, but that could. I hope. I hope we wouldn't be able to see the game. I hope the result is positive. Um, I don't. For the team. Uh, it's it's. Um, as much as a friendly match, yeah, it's a friendly it match. Matter. It the, the, matter. The, coach, the, coach, the coach is experimenting. Um, well, it, it, it could be positive in the in the context of him getting closer to what he's trying to accomplish as a as a um, you know as a team, so that he'd be prepared. Because your first game is against the USA, isn't it? Yes, the first game is against the USA. Yeah. I mean. Um, it's the opening match that yeah. it's a dream opening match, the Visa Derby, the Deportee Derby. So if uh, we will be doing this for every man that I stick up, every man where they are chrome, we so, will do this. And listen, let me say something to the United States. Is mm -hmm. Uno, I get it first. Uno, I'll get it first. It's been a long time coming that we need to put a strap in on the United States, in the United States. That disallowed goal by uh, by Damian Lowe in the World Cup uh, qualifiers really changed Jamaica monumentally because had that goal stood and we had gotten the three points, um, our World Cup qualification would 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 have been on track. Um, you know, it's our own fault that that that, that the Bobby Reed miss. Um, but we we had the ball in the back of the net legitimately and then fit to be called off by um, for a phantom foul um, was, was certainly heartbreaking. But the United States, your time is coming. Your time is coming. Section 231. That's where the ultras will be. Section 231? 31, and it's, 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 it's getting larger by the minute. Um, am I Every right day. Now? That's in Chicago. What are you doing in Chicago, blood? You've got no business there. I, I have... Um, this is big man football. This big right. man football is being played. I happen to have On the freedom. The 24th. I happen to have the freedom to move around as I see fit. No. <laughs> well, yeah, you can put on your red shirt and, and feel like a part of Sam's army, but the game will be sold out because it's Sam's army. No, I wouldn't I wouldn't be I wouldn't be at that game. I wouldn't be at that game. I'd be waiting patiently for you to arrive. Um main danger yes, thing, um we're gonna get our face kicking. And there's too much chat going on. But um I'll be waiting patiently for you to arrive with zero points. Um AM's official. The the I am still an ultra, I'm not a I'm not a um a, 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 a spokesperson for the JFF. Um Manning's man has an official capacity as a team manager. Um the agreement that I have with him is when I come on these streams, I respect that position. I don't seek to get uh privileged information. That that um, you know the, 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 to breach his his integrity and his the confidentiality agreements that he has. So what I can tell you is that no, you will not see the the Qatar game. Um, there is supposed to be a press conference at some point. I think it might be tomorrow. Um, I would I would expect, and we we can then ask the questions about the the Jordan game. And, and where it will be shown, because the fans do need to see it. If you, man and man is spending a pretty penny to get to Chicago. Enough man, man's flying from all about, man, man's, my brethren ultras them from section 115. Dre, any weather, you need, you need for fly up, brother. Father Dre, section 115, man, them are, are, are flying. <coughs> um, the two man link there and, and gobbled up some seats. Already we, we reach row 10. So the whole section will be gold. You know what I mean? Um, not my preferred place to sit. I, I normally sit up half line, but you know, I'm, I'm a guest of 
the, 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 the demand them in, in um, the United States. So the only issue we have now is how we're going to get the white rum into the stadium. <laughs> but where there's a will, there's a way. And there's always a yardy working somewhere. Remember, America is a country of laws. I'll just remind you of that. Yeah, we come there all the time, innit? Yeah, right. Just I just remind you of that. <laughs> Try not to go run a fall of the of the law because they do enforce the laws here. <laughs> I just want to remind you of that. So so we don't have much of, about what's going on in, in Austria except for what No, they, they've had their foot they've had their their first session, which was in a gym session, and they have touched the field for the first time. Um and based on the interviews that we've seen, spirits seem high in the camp. Um, um Simon Preston Reggae Boys commentary, who is also uh holding an official uh, position with the JFF now. Um, he conducted those interviews. He was uh, in the chat earlier. Um, we need to take a bit more detail. We want to know where Deshaun Bernie had yam for dinner. Yeah, man. I want to know yeah. which are favorite cartel song. So, so you just mentioned get a little bit more in depth with the man them. Um, but we do we do appreciate the difference in the interviews um, than what we would normally have gotten. You know what I mean? You, you um look, Mr. United is asking where is the Trinidad versus Jamaica game will be? City Park, St. Louis, Missouri. St. Louis next Missouri. next to the arch. The city with the arches. The the um you the St. Louis Rams. So you just you just mentioned earlier that man is man is now part of the staff. Um, I think uh, it's not it, 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 for this for this for this for this for this, this tournament. Right for this tournament. Um, yes. for for Austria and Gold Cup and the Gold Cup. Right, there's no secret. Um, um, there's been a lot of talk surrounding it about whether he should or shouldn't, and um, but now, you know, about contracts, all that kind of stuff. But now he's there. He's there. We know he's there. Uh, um, someone chat too much, man. Uh, um, lava, 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 and them something. There. Someone chat too much. So you think people have now accepted that? They've moved on from that? or Brother, the biggest disease that we have in Jamaica is not diabetes or cancer. <laughs> it's what? It's bad mind. Bad. bad mind are the biggest disease. Yeah. And unfortunately, into the whole YouTube world, some man exposed the disease. At a time when we could have rallied around and showed unity, some man just come with the crab in a barrel mentality. You understand? What a on them lip. Yeah, man. I think, I think, um, listen, you cannot, you cannot see to critique and tear down something before a man even take him first step. It's like, you know, uh, go out the door and lock the door and, and so the man can get in my office. Allow the man. Help him. Let us let us try to see Jamaica better. If he, if if he does make missteps, missteps, we we call them out. You understand? I'm not decent, brother. Me ultra. Bad bro. People that know me know me, and I'm not changing for nobody. And when I when I when when man is man asks me to to to, to assist in this and 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 come and run the streams while he is busy. Because it would be, it would be, you no, know, a conflict of interest, and people be asking, "Are you doing the job? Are you going to do?" And he said it. He accepted cataract as cataract. I am not man is man. I'm not a man of the cloth, right? But I, I think I, I've conducted myself cordially with 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 Andre. It won't be the same kind of conduct come Wednesday, <laughs> yeah. the twenty eighth, you, you, in, you, you, in Saint Louis. I will wet you up with white rum when we score. I'm just telling you. Not so me. Walk with a train. Walk with a <laughs> If me. you come close to me, brother, I will <laughs> wet you up with white rum like we do in the stands. Yeah. And I suspect that that is the game in which I'm going to see goals being scored. Walk with two or three changes of shirt because you, you're going you to be in so violation bad. of a lot of no, of a lot of stuff there, Cataract. So you can't <laughs> you you can't waste your white rum like that. That's what we do. All right. So people. Let me tell you about the life of the ultra. We do the same thing every match day. 
we follow the same routine so that we don't change our team. What so is what is what is that routine? What is that routine you follow? Get up, go to drive in, go to sovereign uh, supermarket, buy a case of white rum. A case? How, how, how much? A case for twelve, so 12 liters, like six gallons of rum. Uh. Yeah, twelve liters of rum. Uh. Pour it out, buy the gallon juice bottles, empty those, just dash it away, and give some homeless man them, you know what I mean? And fill those plastic bottles with white rum. We don't, we buy chasers in the venue. We're not cheap because you have vendors. And then, we stop at KFC, get a bucket of chicken, a 21 piece bucket of chicken, two 21 piece bucket of chicken, got enough hungry man, they bounce the thing. And then proceed to the stadium. And it's chicken, white rum, and weed. And man's happy until it's time for the game. We stand for no national anthem except for Jamaica's national anthem. None. We stand for the Jamaican national anthem. And when the Jamaican national anthem is sung, the last day says Jamaica, boom! We have added to our national anthem. KFC, do you do you understand um, this comment here? What? You want to violate Trinidad? Yeah. Yes. Okay. <laughs> we want to be arrested for abuse. <laughs> like, <laughs> let me tell you. Let me tell you something. It's only because I know it's really not possible in a tournament situation. Because if we're leading by that much, the coach is going to take off everybody and just defy the command some time for run out mm. and not just step in your neck like what, what you're doing is you're building I, I want to see no but what I want to see is I'm waiting until I see the squad and then I'm going to tell you how savage it's going to get oh the Trinidad squad I think the Trinidad no, who's interested in your squad oh you're talking who's about you? your squad your squad who is not named us yet who do you have the plays like no Trinidad have, right. so, have a good have a good squad Okay, uh, give me a moment. Talk about your squad. I'm going to take a call. Give me one moment. Main danger. Main danger. Main danger. Wants to violate Trinidad. I wish you could expand on that a little bit. Tell us a little bit about what you consider what you consider a violation. Um, I told the Jamaican squad that um, I thought the squad was named already that Cataract read out just now. So there, is, there, is there a chance that some people that's in Austria right now may not make it to the final squad? Um, I didn't realize that. Um, oh, that's interesting. That's interesting. Um, but Jamaica does have a lot to choose from. Um, does have a lot to choose from, and um, we'll watch and see. Um, Chris King is asking, um, out of 10, how do you rate TNT squad? Um, that's an interesting question. Um, it's all context, right? It's all context. Um, out of 10, how do you rate? Con I don't know. Out of 10, how do you rate the squad against America, against Jamaica, against Guyana, against Barbados? Um, it's a difficult one, but we the squad has not been named as yet, so it's it's hard to say to try to um to try to put the this the squad into that into that space in terms of a of a ranking, in terms of rating on the squad. I do agree. With this comment, that football um, is played on the field on the day. Names are not everything. I think I'm I'm trying to say that to cataract to cataract a little bit um, delicately, but I don't think he's he's open to that suggestion. Um, that's the only time. Everything before the game changes when you step inside of those white lines. 
So whether it's in that particular group or in any of the groups, only on those days we'd know. Um, that's something that we need to try to get through the cataract when he, when he returned. Um, how do you rate? How do you rate the squad against the teams that you're all in the group with? Um, the the U.S. squad um, have guys that's playing in the MLS, that's playing in top leagues around the world. Um, so, from a squad perspective, they would have a better squad than 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 Trinidad squad. Um, guys, the football has never stopped for those guys. The game has continued to develop here in the U.S. So they have a they have a squad that should have some experience and and, and um, are, you, are you able to tell us where in the US you are? Or say that again? From, are you able to tell us where in the United States you are, or you're from an undisclosed location? No, no, I'm 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 not wanted. I, I'm in North Carolina. <laughs> I'm in North you Carolina. North Carolina, the home yeah. of the, the Tar Heels. Yeah, right? yes. Home and we're gonna Tar um Trinidad is gonna play. You know, you know I come you know I come there and DJ. But, but hold on. Hold on, let me finish. I was I was trying no, to go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. in danger here. Um, so the US as a as a squad as on paper has a better squad. Um Jamaica would be the same, it would be the same response for Jamaica. And um we don't know who the who the fourth team is. But Mexico had a better squad than us too when we tied 0 0 with them in the gold cup the last time. Mexico had a better squad. So back. To the statement that football is played on the day when you step inside of those white lines um and it the objective is to stop the opponent from scoring and to score as much goals as you could on them um so it, it it's very it's, it's, it seems like as much goals as you would score is one because you just it's one it's one nil business well if i don't if you don't score on me i can't lose is, mm. is that correct so if that's, i one one is all I need to win. Well, I, one is all I need to win. What were you saying about um, North Carolina? No, 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 I said that I do come to North Carolina. Um, okay, where in North Carolina? From time to time. Charlotte. Charlotte, yeah. And I'll tell you the other place. It's, it's an army. It's an army base. There are lots of Jamaicans who serve. Uh, Fayetteville in the army. you're talking about. Fayetteville, probably. Fayetteville, Fayetteville, yes. Yeah. Um, um, Charlotte is where the U.S. is going to play, where Trinidad is going to play the U.S.A. Oh, so they're playing in your backyard? Yeah, in my back. Yeah, I don't have to go very far. <laughs> wow. I wish there was a game in North Carolina, though, Dan. I really do, because enough man there is a cataract of a little following there, you know. But let, let, let me get back to it, I say to you. Mm. The squads are not better than people. The Jamaican squad and the United States squad are <clears throat> better than Trinidad. I mean, when we have all our players available, both sides. In reality, on paper, Mm -hmm. on YouTube, on the field, everywhere. The results bear that out, including the fact that you have but not which results? which results? World Cup qualifiers, Nation League results. You Against in, Trinidad or just generally speaking? You're in the B. Where are you in no, the no, Nation no, League? No, 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 no. No, no, no. I'm having hold trouble. No. Um, no. No, no, hold on, hold on. I'm saying to you, I'm saying to you. Hold on, hold on. No, no, no. You just said we are in the B division. No, 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 not B division. No, no, no. You, you cut me off. I'm saying. Okay, sorry. You're, you're in the B-rated teams in CONCACAF. You don't no. make you don't make the octagonal of the World Cup qualifiers on a, on, on any regular consistent no, basis. That's not, that's not true. Not, not since Russell Latapi and Dwight York and Angus E. Remember, and, the World Cup is every four years. Yes, but when is the last time you participated in a hexagonal or octagonal final round of World Cup qualifying? In in twenty nineteen, it was. Hold on. Yes, twenty nineteen, isn't it? When when we um we were in the top six. Hold on a minute. We'll, we'll, have, we'll have to look that up. He's Googling. No, no, I'm not Googling. I'm not Googling. 2019, 2019 BC, before Christ. 
<laughs> it's in 2019 BC. I'm trying to. Dre Ross, you can humble. I'm a no humble. And I'm a no have no weak heart. <laughs> I, I, put, I, I put my money where my here. mouth is. I put my money where my mouth is. I go support my team. I'm going there. I'm going to look with a binoculars. I'm going to invest in a binoculars to find the one red shirt in North Car in 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 Saint Louis, because you know there'll be so many Trinidad fans. Um, I'll, I'll come find you. I'll come find you. I'm sure improvement is saying here that according to the JFF Facebook page, the squad will be released tomorrow. Yeah, it, it has to be released tomorrow. And that will be the squad for the friendly international. For the friendly game, right? Yes, that will okay. be the squad for the friendly game. I mean, the game is the day after. So, yes. Thank you, sure improvement. Mr. United is asking someone here what's so special about Daniel Green. It's, it's always interesting that people have different perspectives about players and performances. And sometimes... It's it's you look it's simple. Does a can a player pass and receive the ball? Could he affect the game? But a lot of times, as fans, we don't know what the coach is requesting of that player, right? And um, and we make those decisions sometimes. Um, we, we have those opinions. We form those opinions about players. W what is your take on Daniel Green? Daniel Green is Daniel Green. He's not going to be in the Gold Cup squad. He's what? He's not going to be in the Gold Cup squad. Okay. I, this is where I am, and I'm saying to people. Players born in Jamaica who ply your trade in Jamaica get at the top of your game and secure a transfer out of the semi-professional JPL League and prove yourself in a top-tier league in a country because it's going to become more difficult to justify semi-professional players taking the spot of professional players. No, you don't have to be born in England. There are enough examples. We, we have named them. Corey Burke, Kaim Paris, Shaman Nicholson, Andre Blake, Leon Bailey. There are sufficient players born in Jamaica who are an example that you don't have to have a quota system. You don't have to have a special slot reserved. You simply have to be at the top of your game and impress the coaching staff by your performances for your club and when you get selected into the team. That's it. Right? There, there, there is Ronaldo CFS. I didn't see CFS. Um, Strange, I didn't see Siapas. That's 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 a face that I'm I'm wondering about because I would have expected to see him in Austria, um, being so close in 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 Europe to to Austria. I would have expected to see him there, right? Damian Lowe, thank you, Fresh God. Um, they're sufficient. Recently, I mean, in Iceland is not a top league in the world, but I mean, it's still a professional league. Um, Dwayne Busy Atkinson and Richard Key. Like, so, so what so if all these players can seek to professionalize their careers why should we incentivize for players who spots on the national team for players who are not willing to or who have not made the grade to transcend into professional careers and Dujon Richards is an example that even without playing semi-pro, if you are talented, they will find you. So I, I, I am not in this agreement that become and then I JPL and forget a space. No, get out of the JPL. Turn yourself into a, into a professional. The coaches demonstrate that he will even not have a bias even though some fans have a bias to against the, the the usl andre right but the coach has selected three usl players in the squad i count at, at yes, this time kevon, kevon people, lambert i think a lot of people have an an uninformed bias 
about the USL. That's the Bush League? I, I think, um, you know, there's a player just last week um, that just... One player. No, no, no. Hold on. Hold on. But go ahead. Hold on. This is the latest um, situation um, where a player went to Benfica from the USL. Right? There's a player in France, a little Henry boy who plays for the US from the USL. Right? The USL have sent... Um, and, there's Junior, and then there's Junior Flemings. And, right. On the, other, on the other end of the spectrum. Right. But the, the, USL doesn't, the USL does not... Does not transfer players in sufficient quantity for us to suggest that it's a quality feeder league. Um, there are more players that has gone from the from the USL. Not every team does it, but there's not enough. There's players that have gone from the USL to other leagues in Europe. The MLS, the MLS as well, has. Um, but but if you take for example Belgium, that people say is a, is a deve developmental league, players leave from Belgium in droves, and go ahead to the English Premier League, um, Germany. Um, France, Italy, and, and Excel. Um, in, in, not, in large enough numbers. So you can't just take a one player or two player and then say, yeah, man, let the league, the league go. But, 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 but you've got to start somewhere because you're, you're, you're saying that the JPL is a semi-pro league. The, semi USL, league. the USL is a full a professional, professional league. league. Right. And I'm yeah. saying to you that you can leave and go to the USL. So right. let me make that point. You can, a player in Jamaica can leave from the JPL and transfer to the USL excel in the usl and then matriculate to the mls at least but i'm also saying that the coaches demonstrate the MLS is not an easy league to get into you know? no I did, i'm not i said at least because right. that's it you're in the same com country you have a work permit you would have a um right. requisite right. visas you have access right? to the league, yeah. and you have access to the access to the work thank you very much right, right? so i'm saying to, i'm saying that we have to start demanding more of our of, of, of our homegrown players because there is sufficient example. What happens to many are they're caught in a quicksand. They get to the MLS, sorry, the USL. They earn significantly more US dollars than they would earn in Jamaica. They earn more than farm workers, but they don't matriculate out of the USL. And that is that for me is concerning that the, 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 the Jamaican players who have gone to the USL taking that initial step don't seem to take a second step to elevate themselves. So is there a chance, is there a chance every league have its... Um, is no, it, Drew, it Drew Ross, the, 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 the JPL is not a professional league. It's a semi-professional league, meaning the, the um, man work at Tankwell, a, a, a lift cement and put pan truck and when we go buy my steel, a, a, a professional foot, a, a ball, a, 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 a deal with me. So they have other jobs. And they, they 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 do football. This is part time. It it's the, the this is a process. The player, um, the player development process, the player movement process. If a player leaves a country and goes to another country and doesn't succeed, it 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 doesn't necessarily have to be because of the league. It could be because of that player is not properly equipped. And we're talking about football, the actual passing, receiving, scoring a goal, the actual physical mechanics of football is just part of the requirement. The bigger part of the picture, the bigger part of the requirement is the mentality. It's mental, right? So maybe those players aren't prepared. And I have to agree with you, Andre. Which is why I'm saying there's sufficient examples of players who have left mm -hmm. over the years, and it, it, it's there's more opportunity now because I see more players leaving and going to Eastern Europe, etc., and, and and in Europe. So they, they, you can make the transition, um, but to make that next step, it concerns me that they don't make that next step out of the USL, and the USL does not transfer a lot. The, the semi-pro league in Jamaica, do we transfer 10 players? Do we transfer 10 players per year to the, to the MLS? No, we don't. We don't transfer 10 players per year to, 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 the, to the USL. 
So, well, so, so you're suggesting that the product needs to improve? The product needs to improve. I, I have yeah. confidence that the product will improve based on the, 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 the coaching education improving and the quality of the coaching improving, the quality of the competition improving, um, that we are making those incremental steps. But the JPL is not a professional league. It's it's not their full time job, and we, we I have my I have we have company over yard, so we can't really talk all the business. But we know of some nefarious things that ballers get up to. One's incarcerated right now, so it, it does not. You cannot, for the vast majority of footballers, feed yourself <laughs> and your family, girlfriend and, and and baby mother and child on the wages that are paid to a football in Jamaica. It's a semi-pro um, endeavor, and we look forward to the day when it becomes professional, um, a professional league. You'll have to get crowds the size of what you saw at Sabina Park at regular season games. That's what happened. Yeah, yeah fr Fresh Guy, what I'm saying is um, the... The development of a player, a player goes through various stages, right? And everybody has a part to play. And if a player, it's not, I don't think it's a, it's a straightforward thing. It, it's complex. If a player goes into the wrong environment, um, his development is stunted. Gets, gets stunted for, for various number of reasons. Sometimes just leaving home. I was making the point to, um, in a private conversation. Um, prior with someone that um, you you look at the 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 English league and you and Catrack was saying earlier it's the best league in the world and you know you have teams in the league and and there are players you look at Grealish who went to to, to City and um, and John Stones and some of those guys they take longer to adapt to what and, what Pep was asking them to do as players and, and the before they become regular in the team. And, but the weight of expectation. Team. Some players can't handle the weight of expectation. Jack Grealish right. could not handle the weight of a hundred million dollar transfer fee. But, well, because it's, it's not just that too. It's, it's sometimes it's the sophistication. I think of the football that they've been asked to play. You bring a player from the from the continent, and he may handle it different. So there's so much. This it, it's so complex um, that there's no one reason sometimes why a player may or may not evolve or make it or, or whatever the case may be. It's very, very difficult. Sometimes the club um, decides, well, we're going to play Cataract instead of Andre because Cataract cost us $10 million. In that moment, um, or sometime around that moment, Andre could be the better player. You, you don't know, but we can't just take a $10 million player and put him on the bench, right, or $20 million. No, but the clubs do that all the time, like they say. Cataract knows they play cataract because dance or music is better than soca. Yeah, uh, right? um, only in cataract's mind. <laughs> right. So, but but you are spot on, right? There is no one, there's no panacea, meaning there's no right. one fix, and there's no one reason why a player may not. I, I, I refer to Jack Grealish because Jack Grealish is not doing anything really differently now. It's that he tended to try and overdo it when he first came to Manchester City to try and justify his price tag. So he, he tried to take on right. players and and ended up losing the ball and, and pep, got a bit pep on him, right? <clears throat> now he's, he, he's he went to the World Cup, he's been there, he's part of the mainstay of, of Manchester City. And sometimes some players just need a, a, a hand around them. Some players need a stiff kick up the backside. Some players need a, a arm around a father figure. You, no one size fits all. I and, think that's and, what you're saying. And, 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 right. and when, when a player doesn't doesn't make it, um, let, let, let's take um, the Tyreek McGee at, 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 at Casupen. It behoves us to find, try and understand what went wrong so that we can mitigate against that going wrong instead of pretending um that listen it's just our ball and who are cast up in bad mind jamaicans because other jamaicans have gone to belgium and excel leon bailey shaman nicholson 
are two examples. Yeah, yeah, but 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 what you what you point to the stick Lee and Bailey, for example, and I'm not pretending to be no expert on Lee and Bailey's journey, but he, he had his dad with him while he was there, right? So that that support, he had that support while he was trying to make it. And yeah. when you I learned a long time ago that when you take a young player, right, and, and young you know, you take a young player and you take him, let's say a player is growing up in a home with a mother and father and all, the, you know, the way it's, the way we understand it and, and the way most, and you take that player before he's ready out of his environment and send him away for football, it takes a very strong mentality to survive that, right? Because if you have a mother who plays a particular role in your life, your father plays a particular role, you might have a brother and a sister or two brothers. They play different roles in your life. Everybody have their role to play. Once you take that young player out of that space, life becomes a little bit, a lot more complicated. And the support structure have to be very, very good to help that player to get through that mentally so that they could come out on the other end. How do you explain Eden Hazard doing very, very well at Chelsea? He goes to Real Madrid and it falls apart, right? He, he, it's so. It's the, sometimes I, for Edwin Hazard, I think it's the weight of expectation. And 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 look, I, I give an example of, of even why I say that England, the English league, is the is the highest league because the examples of players who have come to the English league fail to make it here, but go back to other top five leagues and have fairly successful careers. Let's take Sebastian Haller. Right, he came across um, from <clears throat> the Dutch league, I think, to West Ham. Was a flop. Mm -hmm. Made it, got transferred to Germany to, to Dortmund. Um, you know, a cancer survivor. So I take my hat off to him. Um, testicular cancer is a serious thing um, that affects us male. And I think there are three players in the in the in the. the sorry, I just I was just watching a documentary. The three players who were diagnosed with testicular cancer. Um, in the German um, Bundesliga this year. You know, but Sebastian Heller, he, he fought his battle with cancer, did his thing, um, scored nine goals, did his chemotherapy, his radiation, and his third, two, two surgeries, and came back and scored nine goals. But he couldn't reproduce the form from Holland in, 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 in the English Premier League. Sometimes the environment doesn't suit you, and the game doesn't suit you. Right. right? Some places play slower, uh, a, a pace of football, some some Spanish football is generally quicker. Um, the English Premier League is, is at a frantic pace for most teams. And um, yeah, so, look, so, look, you, so you're, you're spot on. I, 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 I yeah, can't I disagree with anything that you're saying. I wanted to just click there, uh, Carlton Lovelace, you, you challenged me about Daniel Green and I'm saying to you that I don't think about Daniel Green. Daniel Green is in Vietnam and the wingers that we have Let's start with the local domestic Jamaican born winners. You have Ronaldo CFS and Kahim Paris. Those are the two who are knocking on the door of the squad. No, Daniel Green is not playing or performing, not performing or at the level or playing in a league at the level of Kahim Paris or or um or CFS. So they, they, he, he will have to. Um, it's just not in the pecking order. It's just not in the pecking order. And I heard I, I, there was somewhere and I, I, I heard or I read when somebody says that when Hal Grinson, his reputation is when he gets his 25 man squad, um, that core of players, he sticks <clears> with them. <throat> and it's going to be hard to break in there unless you have a really exceptional season for your club. So this is the time when you have to be impressing the coach because you're just not going to run up into the man squad. That that's that, that's the reputation that he brought from from Iceland. That that was. But 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 football again is is um. There's also some yeah, of it is what have you done for me lately? There's subjectivity in football, um, and you you talk about performance, but sometimes a player is not playing with his club, and another club buys him because they believe he can do the job that. 
that they need within their game models, right? So game models, sometimes um, the coach would know what he wants for every position. So we might think a player, we might think a player is not good enough to be in the national team, and yet the coach picks him, right? Because of the need, because of the quality um, that that player brings to the table, and we can't understand why he's there. We would see the performance, and because of that bias, we would never agree that the performance is good enough, but the coach is happy with it. Sometimes it's complimentary. Players compliment other players. Yeah, right. My tender um, stage in football, I remember the debate about Emil Heskey. Uh, when you say tender age, you used to play football? No, 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 no. no. You never I, played? I heard, I heard Rec 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 recreationally. I, 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 no, I'm not a football. Well, he's not here to defend martial arts and basketball. But, but, um, we, not here to defend we will have to fact check Manning's man because, yeah, yeah we I, I, saw, we saw, uh, <clears throat> oh, do you remember a player who transferred to Barcelona? I think it was, and did the, they tried to do the keepy uppy thing and, and flopped. And, and <laughs> or is it urban legend? <laughs> and, and was, I, I don't know. There's an urban legend of a player who went, I think it's Real Madrid, but I think it is Barcelona. Tried to do the, the keep you up with thing, flopped, um, and, and was probably transferred. <laughs> no, I don't know who that is. <laughs> we say this, man. man. Leave man as man alone. Uh, but bas but basketball was my game. You play basketball? Yeah, man. Okay. But, but again, levels to the thing. Um, right. Brothers in Guyana play basketball. Yeah. You know what I mean? But I actually went to England on a basketball scholarship, right. but and it, it was fine. But when you went up in in league and stage, you start seeing some African brother that is six foot twenty two, <laughs> yeah. twenty two, six foot twenty two inches tall. <laughs> are, you, are you are you falling in love in football? Consider you play. Um, no, it's it's just my really. I mean, I used to watch football in Ghana. Uh, I, I supported. Kitty Campbellville, which was the local right. team. Um, the Pagana was a was, was a real amateur league. It, 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 there was fights. Players would mm. play the match with ratchet in their waist. Um, mm. it, 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 it's not the Ghana that you know now. Right. Um, Western Tigers was the, the top team at the time. Um, mm. But so I didn't really have an interest. And my school football wasn't a, a, a sexy sport. It wasn't a sport. It was cricket, mm. basketball, track right. and field. Um, badminton, those, those were the, 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 the sports. So, right. um, when I went to England, I, I just 90% of my family, um, my, my cousin, I first went with, he played uh cricket uh, mm -hmm. for what's the team that plays at Kensington Oval? I can't remember that, that team, he played professional cricket. Mm. Um, but my all my other, my other cousin there was volleyball, and I really could not dig into cricket and volleyball. Um, when I moved to Birmingham, it was it. Uh, the first, actually, the first football game as well, professional game, was the the, 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 the FA Cup final between Wimbledon and Liverpool mm -hmm. when Wimbledon won one 0 Fash the bash, John Fashionu. So, how? What is your preference for the game? How would you prefer to see the game being played? What style of football do you appreciate? Tough tackling. Hard men. Football is a man sport. Um, the the players that I I I um, admire um, would have been David Batty at Leeds mm. um, or, or the CDM. Um, I had a cousin that played for Mansfield as a CDM. Um, mm. Gennaro Gattuso at AC Milan. Right. Um, you know, that, that you full, know a full you blooded, know. a full blooded game of a full yeah. players that not afraid to go in. And, and again, that's because I went, I, I, I drifted in from, from basketball into, into martial arts boxing. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, John Fashion was actually a black belt, um, mm -hmm. karate. He's, he's a, you know, his, his football was not his first sport, he's, he's actually a martial artist. You know, Gattuso should have been a bouncer, right? Yes, you really, you really yeah. Really, really, wasn't he a bounce at some point? I, I don't know, but that's really, you, you know, that's where you should. Have, so I understand now why you 
why you would pick Leeds I, because and Leeds will be playing Leeds will be playing Championship football, right? Yeah, we will be. Yeah, and they um, love tough, they love tough tackling football in Championship. So maybe maybe you remain there for a few years again because no, I, I, if, I, if, I, if I love right? hold on, if I on. if I love tough tackling, I would have gone ahead and with my cousins from two team in South London and supported Wimbledon. If it's not what there's a difference between just massacre with Vinnie Jones. Vinnie Jones was the CDM at, at, at Wimbledon at the time. Um, Vinnie Jones is now an actor, which he does well, mm. um, as opposed to a CDM. And the, 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 I like hardworking people. You, you know, you, you, you put on your boots and you, you, you put in a 90-minute shift. Okay. Um, you know, well, no, you don't tell me what to do, Mr. United. Sorry. <laughs> you, you, you don't. You don't. This is not managed man. Don't try that, brother. Right. Um, <laughs> but but, but he, he so, might we, have are, we are exploring. No, you, you asked the question and I'm answering you. Hmm. And, and we're exploring how people get into this bug called football. Right. right. And it, it, the person would understand. When, when I went, to, when I moved to Birmingham, um, my two cousins, one cousin was an ultra with, with Birmingham hmm. City. Went a game at Birmingham City, St. Andrews. It was such a nice game. Um, there's a camaraderie among the Zulus, black men, white men. There was no race that they saw. Um, and it was lovely. My next door neighbor with the Cyril Regis, he took me to West Brom to watch a game in Hansworth. And then my other cousin was a director at um, Aston Villa. Um, so I had three, and I, I couldn't choose between the three people. So I said, "What? I'm gonna support the university team leads." And I got an important lesson at the time when I went there. Um, your football team is like your mother; you only have one. That's it. That's that's and all the look uh, in that, English. That, that, Dwight, that's all they Dwight said. Is saying, Dwight is saying, "Yeah, the English university education system has thoroughly greenwashed cataract." To like the spit flying rugby style football of the English lower leagues. Leeds was not in the English lower leagues. Le it, Leeds was in the was in Europe. from the Jamaican leagues. <laughs> and which is which is why I, I which is why Anthony Grant, the judge, is my player. Forget <laughs> fam, forget family, forget anything, friendship, anything. I just I love a player that comes in and gives a hundred percent day in, day out. Steve Shorty Malcolm, Ian Pepe Goodison. Right, um, Shorty Malcolm will forever be my, my legend. He's not the most talented, but sometimes people you listen. I tell some people in, in, in fighting, in, in, in going into the ring, a man will tell you there are numerous <clears throat> examples of people who underestimate others going with your B game, and a man comes in with his A game and the, the desire to win and knocks you out. In every sport, right? That 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 understanding that you don't have to be the most talented, but you can work your socks off. And that and that was it with, with Jamaica when we qualified. We weren't the most talented uh, group of players in in 1996 and 97, but we worked our socks off. There was a camaraderie. The players Did stayed. You, can in, you do me a favor? Yeah, man. Repeat what you just said. The last five seconds of it. No, I said. We weren't the most talented group of players yeah. in CONCACAF in 1996 when we qualified for the World Cup. But we had... Can you stop, Can you stop there again? Yes. Can you say it one more time? Jamaica was not the most <laughs> talented group of players. Still better than Trinidad. It's you, in five seconds. Because you, 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 you remember you were there. Hold you on. Remember, remember you were there, right? Oh, hold Good. on. We were I want you to reflect on what you just said. I don't have to reflect and, on that. I'm, I'm saying what's it, ahead I'm, of us. I am saying it. I'm saying it very clearly. Okay. We then put what we lacked in 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 technical ability and experience. We made up for in heart in the 13th man in 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 the concept of the office. A 50 game unbeaten record at home in Jamaica until we were able to source. Do you all have a patent on that? Do you no, all have a patent on that? So others could behave like that as well, right? Others could 
could could draw on those same I, I just ask it. Look, Dwight is asking here, do you think the UK based players will adjust to the North American heat? I think that's a good question. I think that's a good question. Um the, 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 over the, there. Did David Beckham adjust when he went to LA? Well, he had. He was. He's been here for a few years. He no, had, when he, I'm not talking when he went to LA as a player. Yes. Yeah, he did adjust. He had some yeah. time and he did adjust. Yes. The so English team they adjusted to Qatar. But, this, is but, four, this is four weeks. But these outside of Deshaun Bernard, um, Joey Latibadir, and um, Demar Gray, those players would have come. John Ross would have been the least experienced, but those players would have come here. Dexter Limbekisi was with the under 20s. Conor Ablais Clark was with the under 20s. So the players that we have have played in 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 in, in Concord of Heat before, including in the stadium. So I, I, I don't I don't think that's a question, right? Okay, Drew seems to be missing man's man. He um. He's not man, is man. Is he, in Austria. Really? Yeah, he knows. I they think he's. Uh, I think he's, he's telling us he's not in uh, appreciating the conversation. I, I guess. I told you I'm not managing man. <laughs> I'm not a pastor. If you don't appreciate the conversation, sign off. If you he's do, adapt. then he's hit, adapt. hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and share the content. Yeah, manage man is on on official. Official duties. Jamaican duties. He's representing the island of Jamaica in Austria. And um, that is where he's at, Drew. And you, 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 you stuck with a few uh, different hosts and, um, over the next few weeks. Yes. So I, I think we maybe to maybe you might need to adapt a little bit and, and, and try to re recognize that a man is man is man is man and and you have grown accustomed to man is man, but cataract is cataract, and whoever man is man is going to have on. And Andre is Andre, and Andre and cataract will be oh. here for a couple of times between oh. now and the twenty fourth, <laughs> including on including on match day on the twenty fourth. We, we'll, <laughs> we'll have to link up the pre match and and you know what I mean, yeah. and and have some proper room anytime. And, and we we I'm I'm sure from a fan perspective because Manning's will be busy that day ensuring that we have eleven players on the pitch to beat them. Like a slave, um, so <laughs> this is, is a, a different perspective. We watch these things from my name's man is part of football administration, cataract is a fan. Uh, Andre is, is certainly a football aficionado. I know I respect his, his footballing knowledge. Um, doesn't really have a team to support per se, but he's he still persists. No, no, I do, I do support wishing, I, wishing for the days of in, my jock in the, in the no, in the English league. In the English League, I I do support Arsenal, and I um, admire the way City play. So that's you know those two teams. I try to catch them every time they play. Um, in in Spain, Barcelona, of course, that's the kind of football that I enjoy watching. That's the way I think football should be played. Um, while accepting there's many different ways to play the game and. It's up to each team, each coach to decide how they want to play. But that's what I that's what I prefer. So I'm I'm in there with manners, man. You know. Um, Repeat that again. I'm in there with manners, man. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. You're, gonna, you're gonna get a Y for that. But no, just repeat the teams. Um, Arsenal, Man City, Barcelona. Arsenal, Man City, Barcelona. And Barcelona. So, firstly, you didn't get the lesson. That's, that's in you, Europe. You, you didn't get the lesson that I gave you, which was that the football team is like your mother. You only have one. <laughs> I heard you when you said it. Yes, and then. But that's, but that's in England. But that's in Eng in, in England. Look, 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 Dwight is. Um, I think Dwight is trying to get under his skin. There's some superstars in the making. Name though. me two. There's so, there's some superstars in no, the No, no, you Dwight, name me two. Bunch of nobodies are come try to run up. Look okay, here, man. Let me tell you something. Let me. God, just take 
just take one hour out of each day. Just take 23 yeah. hours for each day and just make, 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 the, make, make the 28 just come fast, fast, fast. I can't wait. <laughs> it's coming. It's coming, Katrak. Um, Michael, thank you. Uh, Drew, any word on when Trinidad Squad will be out? There's no word as yet. Um, things are done a little bit different in different places, but there's no word as yet as to when the squad will be out. There is a squad in Florida at the moment, and I'm not sure why it wasn't named, but... Um, but that, that's your squad. Say it again? That's your squad that is in Florida, because that squad would have been playing... Well, it has to be, but they haven't named it as yet for some reason. Okay. I mean, they haven't, they haven't put it into to, to, um, Tonka Cough. Yeah. Okay. There, there's two... There's... Um, Trinidad has some good players in, in, in the mix that um, I know we know and we, we're stuck on Dwight York and Russell Atapi and, you know, but Trinidad has some good young players coming through. And Angus even. Uh, yeah, yeah you're, you're stuck in that era. I'd like you all to pay attention um, to what, is, what has been happening. Jovian Jones. Dwight, I want you to... Uh, hold on. This is a seminal moment. I want you to just pause here and understand. Just repeat those names. Jovi Jones, Levi Garcia, Judah Garcia. Do you see anybody in the world of football quaking in their boots when they hear these names? Or are you just going to just type, man? You're just going to go to Wikipedia and just cut and paste some names here. We, 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 Who is that man? Who? What have they done? Want, we don't what want have they done? Oh, no, 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 permit me. He's cutting and pasting. Keep going. <laughs> keep, keep cutting and pasting. Yeah, yeah. Daniel Phillips. Who is Daniel Phillips? Who? <laughs> Mikhail Antonio. Winner of the European Conference League. T Leon Bailey. Qualifier for Europe next year with Aston Villa. What's you just you said earlier, and you said it on three occasions, two at my request. Yes, sir. Um, that in 1996, you said it was? Yes. When Jamaica qualified, it wasn't the most... Well, we didn't that. qualify in 96. We, we began but, our qualification. I said but, to you that we ended we by ended. bringing players of higher quality and that elevated the team. No, no, no. Hold on, hold on. I'm talking about a previous statement. Yes, that in 1996, when we... When we when you 96, said you didn't 95, have a very talented team. No, no, said it was not the most talented team. Right, it was in, not the most the talented team. When it started, right, okay. yes. right, so, so um, I think um, the heat, every, a lot of in, things... In North American heat in Chicago? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, everything is going to play a part. Everything is going to play a part. You have bought, you, you have decided to go with a team, right, that comes out of Europe. And there's going to be the upside of that, and there might be some challenges um, with that. And and let's see. We just got to wait until game day, and we see what happens. So I can't um, be humble. Your I'm first test. Strong. Your first test is the United is, States. Is United States, and that's going to be interesting. When, what is your first test? Um, the first test of the day after the twenty fifth against whoever against comes in to be named team. Yeah, which could be could be QSO. Yeah, so, so we we probably what, what 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 would be the mood of the Trinidad squad? The Trinidad squad. If would you be fail to defeat Curacao, if we fail, the... <laughs> that's like not even really a country. It's I, like I, a part of Holland. It's like... I thought you said that's not really a question. Look, it's not really a country. Is played, football is played on the day, and I'm not going to pretend because I understand. I'm backing. I'm backing a hundred percent if I'm coaching. <laughs> right, I, I, I'm not coaching, so I have, you know, I don't have any control over what happened. Um, Trinidad team is going to be in a very good mood, and Trinidad team is going to be happy that we are in the group stage of the World Cup, and the boys is going to go out and they're going to just through the back door. They're going to fight. That's all right. <laughs> we did. Jamaica walked in. Yeah, we did. We, right we walked in through the front door, and I'm just hoping that when you. Meet us on the 28th or the 29th, I think it is. Is it 28th? 
the 28th. There's no, or the 29th. There's the yeah. 28th. Those right. of us who really walk through the front door, we know right. the date. But but there's a potential. There's a potential that you could meet us with zero points, and we have three points. Now, it could be the other way around, too. You could have three points. We could have zero points. You could have one, and we could have you one. have one, and there's all these things. Yeah, all, all of that. But, but, but what I'm telling you is that after we meet you, Mm -hmm. Whatever the thing is, we will have three additional points to what we came into the game with. Okay. <laughs> but I don't know how else to put you, it, man. Rem I, remember, I, listen, listen, the man that went yam breadfruit just stopped that. Are you? Me are I, you? Me understand? Me understand the coward man. Them some some man have a type of some name or some players who done what when in which part of world football and just calling man's name. Okay, Richard King. We've got Richard King. The Trinidad national team. Uh -huh. At its full strength is no comparison to the Jamaica national senior men's team at its full strength. In the same way that the Trinidad women's team senior at full strength is in no comparison to the Jamaican women's reggae girls at full strength. It just, but, but Dwight it's just is not there. In you. Dwight is cautioning you. And I think you should. You Dwight should. can go and roast some breadfruits wherever you he's should. at. <laughs> Listen to me. Roast and fry. Listen to me. Dwight is cautioning you. And I think it's. It would be it would be wise to take Dwight Council. Okay. Consider Tyrone Williams section two one three. We start from row one. The general cataract is in row six. By the way, Never. there's a couple of games. There might be a couple of games before that. I think I think Jim, I think your under fifteen team might be going to trade that, I understand. I, I don't know. I heard um, you were going to play quality opposition. That's what we're I, doing. I understand in preparation for the for the tournament coming up there might be going to train that. We so were the, supposed to go to the uh the Goitia Cup uh, so, in, so in, the, in Sweden, and then I told that we were going to go to have quality opposition. I understand your so, position. <laughs> that's not found south of Jamaica in the Caribbean Sea. <laughs> what is what what is um what is Fresh Gat saying here? No, section two, three. One section two three one. My original section was section 200, the big man seat, you know what I mean? But man have to respect other man's, you know what I mean, and other man's pockets. So section two three one. It's not my ideal place in the stadium, but I just wanted them amongst the man and man them and and I back down. Pick up the top boy from Sam's army. You know, I reached out to you. I'll see you, bro. In your cataract, it's going to be raucous, though. It's going to be raucous, yes. Um, I, in, in Chicago, it's going to be quiet in, in St. Louis, but it's going to be raucous in Chicago. Sam's army will be rocking. I expect the stadium to be sold out. Um, I think the, the, the United States fans will outnumber us. It's not going to be like in, in DC, but we will have to make our voices be heard and be counted. Um, let you, you let were me saying. Clarify. Let, let me clarify my position so there's no uh, misunderstanding is that the game is going to be played on the day and nothing cataract or anybody says before the game is going to affect the game. Um, and because the game is going to be played on the day, if, if the result of the game was known, then there's no reason to play the game. So Trinidad have as much a chance of winning the game as Jamaica does. Trinidad has as much a chance of winning the game as Inter Milan had of winning the Champions League. It didn't happen. Yes. Or Manchester United winning the FA Cup. It didn't happen. Or but Arsenal the... winning the league. It didn't happen. But it... yeah. <laughs> Or Borussia Dortmund stopping Bayern Munich from winning 11 straight things. Anything can happen, but some things just don't. Right. In this case, anything can happen. That's where we're gonna that's where we're gonna leave it for now. Uh, I'm going to take a, just a quick second and just to give back the man and man them the the squad, um, the players who are in currently in Austria: Kanaya Boyce Clark of Reading, Jamali Waite, Pittsburgh River Hound, Andre Blake of the Philadelphia Union in the MLS, Adrian Mariap of Salford City in the League Two, Joel Latibader, Swansea City in the Championship, Deshaun Bernard, Manchester United. Dexter Lembekisi, Wolverhampton, Wanderers in the Premier League, Delano Splat, Fulham FC. Yeah, it's Fulham, it's Fulham FC um, in the Premier League. Jonathan Russell, Barnsley, 
FC in League One, Corey Burke of the New York Red Bulls, formerly of the Philadelphia Union, played last year in the finals of the MLS. Um, Kahim Paris, Dynamo Kiev in Ukraine. Uh, Dujon Richards, aka Whisper, Phoenix Academy, uh, to be transferred to Chelsea on his 18th birthday. Richard King, I can't pronounce the name of that club in Iceland, uh, recently transferred to Iceland from Cavaliers. Um, we're not sure if it's a loan or is it a, a full transfer. Um, Kevon Lambert, the USL, Javain Brown, Toronto FC, and Shamar Nicholson in the Russian Premier League. Well, that should, that should make you start quaking in your boots. Yes, yesterday was some good news. Um, we are now in the same space, Cataract. This one, Bernard, is a Manchester United player. I think it's good for Trinidad football that we're now going to be playing in the top division football. Um, so there's some work to do there. It was a little bit disappointing before um, to be in the B division. Um, looking forward, the quality of the competition. But as it is right now, um, that has changed. And, and you know, I, as, a, as a coach, as someone that coaches, I like to win stuff. You, you don't like, you know, the idea of getting trophies for participation trophies. Um, and while this is, this is not that, this is, this is um, someone not playing by the rules, whether it was conscious or not, um, they were found out and, and, and now they were removed from the space that, um, and we joined that space. So I don't think there's anything to be, um, to feel bad about. So come, June 28. So, so um, come June 28, Trinidad versus Jamaica, St. Louis, City Park. Yes. Uh, man, just get to put a ticket now, man. I made week match. Just never forward in half line. We are sick of that match. So. Um, I'm going to follow up and check on the release that Deshaun Bernard has been released from Manchester United. But generally, they released at the end of the contracts. And in general, contracts come to an end on the 30th of June. Um, but let's see. And yes, he was on loan at um, Portsmouth in League One. That is correct. And uh, Fresh Guard, uh, what we're telling you is who is in Austria. When I ask Christ. Yeah, the final squad. The final squad. Any squad that comes out now is about the friendly. And it's not the yeah, it's a friendly. It's the friendly squad. It's these are players that they're in Austria for two friendly internationals behind closed door to Qatar and behind open doors to with Jordan. Um I know Reggae was coming through here earlier. I hope that the press officer can enlighten the Jamaican fans where we will be able to see the Jordan game um on television um or on live streaming so that the fans can really get behind the squad and and get g'd up and hyped up for the opening match against the united states at soldier field on the saturday the 24th of june section two three one rows one to ten well well cataract i appreciate um it's been three hours yes i know yeah. you like me still have some work to do we do Got to go plan my um, training session for this afternoon. So it's been a good, it's been a good three hours, and hopefully we we'll do it again soon. I don't know what man is man have in store for tomorrow, but um, hopefully catch up and and yeah, so we'll see if we can find some Qatari to talk to. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I think I think he can only speak English, you know. <laughs> Hablo español, señor. Hablo español. Well, thank you to everyone in the comment section. Fresh yeah, man, Guard and, and Mr. United and Dwight Spence and and everyone else. Uh, Travis that has contributed to the conversation today um, with bits of information and questions and whatever the case may be. And a little bit of ribbon of cataract and his overzealous 
um, commitment to Jamaica, to Jamaican football? It's called an ultra runner. You, what do there's you think else, before we take there, off? There's nothing else but ultras. I like, uh, say um, congratulations to Trinidad for making it into the real Gold Cup. Um, <laughs> again, you were there in 2021. Um, but, you know, there's always a backdoor and emergency exit that, you know, someone tried to come into the dance and jump the fence. So big up the jump fence, man, them, Trinidad, who never come through the front gate. Um, it, it's, it's most fortuitous. As I said, I was I was on cloud nine, you know what I mean? Because you would have heard the last time I, w- I was on a stream with, with um, Andre, uh, just begging the Lord above <laughs> to meet Trinidad in the knockout stages. And man was telling us how difficult that permutation would be. And yeah. oops, they dropped up into our lap. Last night? Yes. Was you or you was on a stream last night? Okay. No, no, no. I was on a stream last night. On a stream last night. Last oh, okay. night. I thought you were. Okay, okay. I no, no last last night when I when I juggled. But up, everything so. happened for a reason. Everything, everything does happen for a reason. Yeah. And the reason is for you to get a beating. Um, yeah. you, Remember. Also, you are not the best planner. There's a better planner than you. Yeah. <laughs> no, the man plans and God wipes out. Yeah. And so maybe. Yeah. So maybe and it happens so that we, am, could, we could and, show that we dominate. Because I'm right now we're on top, right? You know that, right? You're on top of what? Yeah. You like a one friendly win. And yeah, I piss it. Oh, God. All right, here we go. <laughs> Out of six points, you got one. When I get to Chicago. Out of six points, you got one. When I get to Chicago. And, and this is the hotel. I will, apart from telling them about dealing with USA and making those requests. Once on the Sunday, mm-hmm. I'm gonna drum it in man's ears until they know that they have to but, pulverize. You know, I, I, listen, I don't want to take this out for too much further, but let, let me ask you this: yeah, Who was Jamaica previous coach before the new coach? Paul Hall. And who was the coach before that? Theodore Whitmore. You think you would have been so? Receptive if they've gotten one point out of six against the trade and the bigger team that didn't have football for a long time. I just <laughs> one point out of six, sir. We're not playing, it's not a competitive game, it's a friendly match. They know points. No, I don't understand you. There's always points in football, it's a friendly match, but there's always points. No, they aren't. Um, oh, they're rating, they're rating points. They're rating points. They're rating points. In, 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 let me let me be clear. They are rating points. Yeah. Um, for, for your FIFA rankings, and we did you a huge favor. Just say thanks and go on, man. We often give to the homeless and no, the needy. No. A fresh guy. Um, I'm it's not good. I'm not, it's I'm good not to give. Ahead. I I am. I understand. It's good to give, give to the homeless and the needy and the dispossessed. So we just gave you some rating points for FIFA. Um, we needed that and we appreciate that. Yeah, man. But much, coming to 28, it's a big Much thing. gratitude. So more man and man, just show up yourself, the man, and, and, and get those tickets. Get those tickets. Section 231, let the Jamaican contingent keep ever growing. Don't bother with Trinidad and the last minute planning. Book your ticket. Get your <laughs> ticket then. You understand? A one place for that. You know what I mean? We we gonna be there. Trinidad is gonna be there. Trust and me. Trinidad will be there in City Park. I'll tell you the exact location in City Park where man and man will be. Um, you know what I mean. Giovanni is here. Other man is here. But thank you for those in the comment section. Thank you for my my co-hosts today, Andre. Um, don't forget to hit the like button on the way out. Those who don't have no manners, just come and people us and like even knock on the door. Just hit the like button. You know what I mean? It's like wiping your foot on the mat before you step in the yard. But since you're leaving, just lock the door on the way out. Hit the like button. If you're new to the channel, as is I Am Sure Sports, uh, do subscribe and do share the content. Um, it helps the algorithm, so I'm told. And it does certainly get the, 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 the conversation visible. Uh, always positive discussion on football, uh, both in, from a Trinidadian perspective and from a Jamaican perspective. Um, the negativity don't really exist around here. Um, and um, the rivalry continues. Um, and it will continue even after the 28th, the beating on the 28th. Because yeah, we'll hear some excuse from Andre. Um, 
about them not preparing for this group and stuff like that. Well, when I'm uh, not management, Andre's not management, but when we get to this point in the show, <laughs> management would say, I'm over. <laughs> this is I Am Sure Sports. Yes. <laughs> and Andre and, <laughs> and Catherine, Catherine. we are over and we, we are out of here. Out of here. <laughs> All right, brother. Take care, okay? Yeah, man. Respect. God bless you. All right. Yeah, man. All the best in training.